Welcome to the Red Cup album, man. You got the the legend Bernard Ducky Vaughn in here, Duval High School, Cornell University. You know what I'm saying? Uh, still around the game, still around the game, real, real heavy. Check my man Ducky out today at the um, Boy Gymnasium at Mike White's uh, DMV uh, Elite event. A lot of young talent in there, man. Ducky, but you still around the game. What you think about you know, what you saw today as far as like the uh, the area talent? Well, man, I. Uh... I was kind of disappointed in what I'd be seeing sometimes, not so much as the talent, but the, the type of advice that they might be giving these kids as far as like, you know, preparation, uh, 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 preparing to play. Uh, I saw a lot of, you know, arguing and fussing and fighting among the kids and stuff like that and stuff. And, and it's, it's just different. It's just, a, it's just a different brand of basketball than when y'all was coming up and stuff. So, you know, I don't, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. You know, every now and then I see somebody that I really, really like, and I go out and watch them. But I don't, I don't, I don't look look at it the way uh, the way some other people look at it. So, you know, I don't hold my attention like that anymore. Yeah. yeah so, what teams impressed you today out there? Well, uh, I like I, I like I like Team Durant. You know, I, I you know some of the teams. You know, some good teams out there. You know, it's just that. You know, uh, AAU basketball sometimes, I guess it's more about the individual style of play than it is about team play. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so sometimes when I look at the games, I be looking at for what thing, what they can do and what they can't do and as a team. Yeah. You know, that, uh, you know, when you've been around as long as we've been around, yeah. you know, everybody, you know, can play yeah. just about, but they don't know how to play. Mm -hmm. And I think that frustrates, uh, it frustrates me to see that, that you have that much talent and can be that good but don't know how to play the game. So you think the, the, the teaching, aspect of the game is watered down or is not there? Well, I think it's more watered down. I think, you know, some guys have a good intentions. First of all, yeah. thank you, man, for letting yeah. this man know this shit watered down. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah, but I, I said teaching. I said but, uh, teaching, man. No, you know, I said that's, teaching. That's, I ain't say the talent. Yeah, yeah, but that but that's, that's an important aspect of it, though, because, see, the thing is, uh, you got to be able to teach these kids and stuff, you know, uh, because you know if they don't play, then they ain't never gonna get get better. But if you, you know, if you're working out, like most kids do, they get people to work their kids out and stuff like that. But the thing is, is what you do on the court. Yeah. So you can get anybody to work you out, and you know you can shoot the lights out of it when you, you know, working out. Well, ain't nobody in the gym. Ain't nobody in the gym, but you game know the game environment. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, but some of these coaches, man, I, I you know, I, 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 I be looking at them, man, and some of them don't know what they're doing, and some of them just doing it just so some they. Some of them, a lot of them, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some of them. Yeah. So, do you give any advice to any other coaches out there, or you just? No, cause I try to, I, I try to respect the, the fact that, uh, that they the coaches and stuff like that. And then yeah. you got some coaches, man, that they don't want to hear, right? You know what you right. say and stuff. And then you know, these. Kind of coach like with you all when when I can always walk up to one of you all and say something. Yeah. But you know when everybody don't know who you are and stuff right. like that, they they get offended. They're not receptive. To, yeah. Yeah, they don't receive they don't receive it real well. So it's kind of, you know, kind of taboo sometimes. So I just leave it alone. I just yeah. watch them. And, well, I don't know why nobody in this area in basketball would know who you are and would take that advice from you. Yeah. But like you said, it's a different. It's different a different environment. Yeah. 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 So that, but it, that's what it boils down to. Like everything that we talk about every week is mm -hmm. is paying homage to you know the guys that came before you or that started this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it at some point in time you have to know who paved the way for you to be in the situation that you in. Exactly. And if if you think that everything starts with you when you, while you're playing, then you on the you you pretty much headed down the wrong path, in a sense because right. it's a lot of guys that done went through wars that, like even you know for me, the y'all generation, Kurt, Charlie Mo, y'all paid away as far as the competition was concerned, and y'all separated y'allself from, you know everybody that y'all was playing against, and that's the reason why y'all was recruited by everybody y'all was recruited by, and y'all name ring bells throughout the city and y'all know so many people y'all done traveled all across the country and the world and all that other stuff and I think that's where 
the line is drawn with, I guess, the younger generation in a sense because they don't know who the bad motherfuckers was before them. They yeah. just think that it starts, it started with them. I'm like that. There is no respect for yeah. the people that came before them. So even if it's a coach that coached all these bad motherfuckers and he's trying to help them understand how to get in school, how to prepare themselves, they don't understand. Like they they not gonna be receptive to whatever this coach is telling them because I don't I don't know what you did I don't know who you are don't keep talking these names and shit that I don't know who they are you know what I'm saying and yeah. I think that's a part of like the younger generation they don't understand or respect you know the people that came before them well I think too you know like uh, like I'm here with with you all right but I think the uh, the investment that we had when y'all was little, when y'all yeah. was young. Yeah. And see, it started back then, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, that basketball camp uh, that Melvin had, you know, I think y'all about 11, oh, yeah. 12 years. Yeah, that, that, that was tough. You know, they, they ain't getting them. Free camp. camp. Yeah. That's another thing, man. When you when you and Big M did the free camp with all yeah. with all us done as, as kids, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no charge, no fee. fee yeah. You know, y'all still gave us T-shirts. Yeah. Fed us every day, you know what I'm saying. I mean, that don't go on a day now, cause I mean, it's all about the money now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, it's definitely less teaching. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, yeah. see, and that's why. And see, the thing is, I, I remember when I used to come down there, yeah. and you know, and, and they would already be playing. Y'all have been mm -hmm. playing. You know, I didn't have to morning, try to, yeah. you know, to get y'all. Y'all went down there with flip flops on and right, right. And, and gym bags and, and stuff School like shoes. that. Yeah, and all that. Other, yeah. School so, shoes. but right. when yeah. you know when I came down to the camp, the camp started at nine o'clock every every morning. Yeah. But y'all was out there at seven o'clock to play yeah. two or three games before yeah. we all crew me polis. I mean, all yeah. little crew. We used to meet at East Capitol Street. And then what, Randy? We used to meet and watch. Right down the walk street. Walk right down the street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we, yeah. we always wanted to get there early. Used to play yeah, a little, little bit before. On you yeah. know what I'm saying? Before you came and split us up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? On our teams and do the drills and all that. Then so. it, was, it was well organized because then oh, yeah, we get yeah, there, yeah, you yeah. broke us down in stations. Right. Then you go yeah. right to competitiveness. We go play. And if it rained, we were going up to see Pleasant play. play. Yeah. And the kids yeah. would run up there. Yeah. And and that's the whole Jaw thing. right up to see Pleasant. Then jaw right back, back, back down. down. Yeah. yeah. But see, that's the thing, though. See, y'all had y'all had something in y'all that made y'all want to do that. See, y'all got up. You know, you had a purpose. See, sometimes these kids won't do anything if you don't take them. If they, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't, ain't gonna pick them up and you ain't gonna, mm -hmm. you know, drop them off yeah, and this right, and that. Right, and right. I understand the safety part of it. You know, some parents don't want, you know, because the neighborhood is right. there. But right. it couldn't have been no rougher than it was, you know, the neighborhoods that y'all was going into, yeah. coming up over, you know, Watts, Keller yeah. Mill, all them other places that y'all went to. But the thing is, is that y'all went where the ball, right. where it was bowling at. Yeah. You know, if you can hear, you know, you hear about they, you know, like when we was coming up. We used to go to Luzon, you know, mm -hmm. I used to get on the bus, the X2 bus, mm -hmm. just to go up to Luzon to try to play, you know, get it to get in the game. Now, mm -hmm. Luzon was the type of playground, you go up there, you got Dantley and all them up there, yeah. and uh, if you lose, you go home. You had to sit on the sideline just to get in the game. But you know, Kurt, you know, uh, Watts was like that. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt. See, Watts yeah. was like that, and I think a lot of people don't understand about the history of Watts Playground. You know, just the area alone. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, because you know, uh, and I and I, I I I never said this, but your family, your family, you know, Fatty uh, took me in. I didn't start playing until I was sixteen. See, a lot of people thought, but I ain't never played no AAU or none of that stuff. Right. But Fatty saw, saw something. Yeah, yeah, you back then they yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was BB, <laughs> BBA or something. Hey, you oh, know, base still. You know, base still was still base and Bushman Dial and all. They was still running around. You know. But but Fatty, Fatty, you know, uh, Dave Bean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 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 Leroy Martin, Fish Brother, uh, 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 all them guys that you call Everett Johnson, Donald Ross, uh, and, you know, me, Carl, and all of us used to mm -hmm. be on the playground. But when mm -hmm. Fatty used to come home, it was different because he would bring Charlie Scott and all them down and watch. Right. And we would sit around and watch them play. And like it goes back to what you were saying about how you have respect for. See, Fatty provided that type of opportunity for us to see those guys up close and yes. personal. So we always learn how to have respect for them. Right. 
but my love for, for, for you all came from the fact that the love of Fatty showed for me, not just Fatty, but Stick Out, mm -hmm. Reggie. Mm -hmm. I used to be on the court and watch every night playing basketball by myself. And I fall asleep and Stick Out and Reggie come from the post office. You know, one of them sit there and wake me up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and they just kept looking out for me. But, you know, we all live on the same street, you know, so it's, it's, it's a different breed. So I, I know I can't. Uh, Times change, but see, to me, the game's still the same. That, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm, you know, glad, I'm yeah. glad you said that. That's not to get back on the Mel, the camp yeah. uh, that you and Mel, Big Melvin had. You know, it's another yeah. thing that us as kids had a chance to see. You got to think those are days where after the camp, we never went home because the first game now Melvin started six thirty yeah. in the outdoor yeah. tournament. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The best outdoor yeah. summer league ever to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ever. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the stuff that's going on now. No disrespect to the farms and Watts and everything, but it'll never be no tournament like Big M. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, and that's another thing. As a kid, we got we got to <coughs> stay out. We, first of all, we got to go to a free camp, mm -hmm. stay out the camp, eat crabs yeah, and all that yeah. free, free gear, yeah. and get to watch y'all play. play. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That, and that, that, that yeah. was. And you remember we used to take out the coalition on, yeah. on the bus. Yeah, on the bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On, on yeah. the bus. But you know, and I was telling him this too, man. You know, a lot of people don't. When I first went to Melbourne, I uh, played on Melbourne team. I was 16 years old, me and Moses Malone, though, you know. And uh, the reason why I think that uh, I ended up being the type of player I was because of the type of player that Melvin had on his team. I had uh, uh, Harold Fox, mm -hmm. Ruben Collins, yeah. you know, and then your father. I yeah. think I told you that. Yeah. Now, now, Charlie Farber wasn't the best basketball player, but see, the thing is, he knew the game. Mm -hmm. So he used to have me sit on the bench beside him, and he would walk me through everything that was going right. on. Yeah. But, you know, the thing is, I try to instill in you all with the type of confidence that Melvin instilled in me. See, because you know Melvin wasn't going to put nobody in front of me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been a time we'd have had, uh, uh, I remember World Be Free and all of them came, and, and John Lucas and all of them came, yeah. but they weren't, but, and that's the type of confidence that a person needs sometimes mm -hmm. to be able to, you know, to get to the next level mm -hmm. and, and, and things like that. But, you know, that's the thing. But I always work hard. Yeah. But, see, the thing is, but y'all was just so important to me because of where we come from. Yeah. And my thing is, is that, you know, uh, uh, we should always provide opportunity for kids to succeed rather than fail. Mm -hmm. I mean, that you know, you see East Capitol, you know, all them dudes, come, Randy and all them come down mm -hmm. from East Capitol, I used to get up there and see them coming down the hill in the morning. It was like a damn, uh, uh, like they getting ready to go fight and stuff. <laughs> you know, but there was so many of them. And then we moved it down to watch yeah, because yeah. it got so big. Yeah. Because, it, and, you know, so it, it, it was a, um, it was a thing of, and Reuben Collins, you know, yeah. when you play with people that know how to play, see, they always put their arms around me. Yeah. See, they always, they, when I make a mistake, they ain't never cuss me out. They ain't never do none of that. But my whole thing was, and me and, me and Melvin talked about that, and I, I mm -hmm. agree with you 100%. See, you got to know where it come from, because that big that outdoor tournament that Melvin yeah, put I, together, I, I, I mean, and man. then the indoor tournament yeah. that he put together. And you know that H.D. Wilson, and, and like he said, and so the thing mm -hmm. is, is that that's where it all originated from. Mm -hmm. So not only the kids got to know, even these people that put on these tournaments mm -hmm. got to know where it originated from. Yeah. Sherwood was one of the best tournaments. And I think y'all were really young then when we played yeah. over Sherwood. Yeah. But, yeah, but Sherwood was one of the best tournaments in the whole area. One of the best tournaments in the whole area, man. They had uh, uh, Will McBury, and a lot of people probably remember that, and, you know, the Melvin team. And, mm -hmm. and you know, people had a love-hate relationship with Melvin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Were going, you know, Mel, but Melvin knew how to promote that stuff, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mel, 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 he was yeah. a businessman. He, he, yeah. he, he, he was tough. But he when, I, tough. when I look back, man, and I'm going to tell you what makes me most proud, because when I look back on all of y'all that was down there, you know, mm -hmm. Mike Bess and all y'all that was down there, and, and, and you and Kirk and um, and uh, Lil Ra, yeah. you know, and stuff yeah. like that, you know, and uh, and even Tayoka. Because I. Professional football. <laughs> and the professional football player. Casey because Dunmore, the only girl. Casey Dunmore was the only girl yeah. and stuff. And, uh, but that was, you know, when you look, you turn around, you look and you see y'all grown mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And just sometimes, you know, some, some of us ain't even here no more. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I get a chance mm -hmm. to see y'all. Right. And I, I didn't, I'm not responsible for 
all of your success, but at least I can say I had a little hand in it. Oh, yeah. right. You know, your yeah. success and stuff, because that, that camp really helped me understand what it was like about giving back. Yeah. You know, not just to the community, but to you all, because, you know, we didn't have all that, that yeah. nonsense. Y'all, y'all played basketball. Y'all really, really yeah. played. Thank so when they told me that y'all was up there, uh, doing work on the mother goos and stuff, man. Cause yeah. you know, you used to tell me. I said, you say y'all used to go somewhere after, after camp, up the math or somewhere, y'all. We was uh, going everywhere. And uh, and, yeah. and 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 uh, and, and we're players and stuff, yeah. and, and beat the beat the teams, the math camp. camp, and all yeah. that. Fun, that made man. me feel good. But see, I always had. Con- I knew the guys down the watch that y'all yeah. group. Yeah. I said, you know, one thing about them, they ain't gonna take no mess off of nobody. Mm-hmm. You know, they 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 fight you. They do anything they want <coughs> to you. And the other thing, too, about your family, man, that a lot of people don't know is your Uncle Rodney just took the, I think he just played the wrong sport. See, Rodney was, when we was coming up, Rodney was the best baseball, baseball player. Wow. Rodney would have been a, 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 a professional baseball player. Lord Mike probably was a better athlete out of all them because he could play all of it. But Mike was tough in baseball, too. So a lot of people just, you know, like you say, you don't know where they come from. And then, you know, once you realize where they come from, you know, we all come from different spot, places, but sometimes we end up at the same spot yep. and stuff like that. And I, I know for me, had not been for Melvin and the people that he surrounded me with, I never would have been as good as I was, right. you know, especially of the coalition and yeah. all that stuff like that. You know, Melvin provided opportunity for you to showcase yeah. That you know yourself and stuff. So and and one thing Fatty always told me, man, was uh, he said, "Duck, let me tell you, let me remind you of something, man." And I'm, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know how you was when you was with Virginia Squires, uh, uh, my, uh, Kurt. Oh, I, I was yeah, you was a baby mm-hmm. back then. But he told me he had bought a brand new Grand Torino, <laughs> and you know he was to drive that with <laughs> no license, and he be and he be sitting over there. But this I much confidence, you know, I didn't know it then, but just you know, he was just confident mm-hmm. and he and I would ride him around the city and stuff and mm-hmm. you know but he said man let me tell you something man he said don't never listen to what nobody say he said because people been saying people can't play for years you know and, and that that's always stuck with me and if you read his autobiography you know that's the same thing he was telling George Gerben now mm-hmm. and so about Dr. J though yeah. you know you respect the game but you know you don't you don't you don't cherish nobody like that you know, and that, and that's my thing. You know, you can say somebody's sorry, somebody can't play, but I, anybody that got on the court, if they had enough nerve to get on the court, whether you bust their ass or not, mm-hmm. you know, the yeah. fact of the matter is, you sitting in the stand, but at least they on the court. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know, so that's where that 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 comes from, man. But you know, I, I'm so proud of you guys, man. That, uh, and I'm so glad that God allowed me to live through everything I've been through to be able mm-hmm. to see you all. Uh, uh, grew up the way y'all grew up and stuff because it's more than just basketball. See, people don't know the history about it. This is a basketball, but this is a, a different type of setting because they don't know about us coming up, right. you know, and, and, and what y'all used to go through and stuff like that, you know, because you, you know, your, 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 your uh, Miss Wright was was like a, you know, like our mother, you know, your mother, you know, uh, 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 and I remember Kirk was so bad, man. <laughs> you know, I swear to God, let me get on this before we get on. Man, I remember Kirk so bad, man, I used to tell Diane, I used to walk all the way up to, to the house to tell Diane, man, you don't come and get that. Because <laughs> we only had like one basketball, right? Uh, we was, we, when we, when I'm, I'm literally telling you the truth. We just had one basketball, and, you know, they used to play, we split them up in, for the game. Right. That mother right. lose, right. man, he kicked the damn ball up <laughs> out on Eastern Avenue. And you, ever, you know what Eastern Avenue with Melvin there, right? Yeah. So you know them cars come yeah, down there. Yeah. And man, before you can get the ball, somebody, the car come up <laughs> and roll over top of the ball, man. And I used to tell Diane, I said, Dad, if you don't get that mother, man, I swear to God, I don't know what we're going to do with him, man. But it was a competitiveness in him, you know, and you, and you learn. Yeah. You know, you, you learn Made about the lose. kids. Yeah. No and see, but, yeah, and then you and then, and then he come up and then you see all the accolades that he make you, you like to attribute to the right. fact that you know y'all got it all down there yeah. and stuff like that so it, it's, 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 it's funny it, you say that because I played when I'm St. Luke's I'm in the 8th grade he in the ninth for Kelly Miller and we playing with the 17 and nothing so ain't nobody know our age right so when we went to high school 
they was like, oh, these niggas old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, we not. We just was kicking y'all asses. <laughs> 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 you know? yeah. We was kicking y'all asses. Yeah, we in the, in the tenth now in the back, and I'm in the ninth of curl. They're like, oh, no, nah, they old as shit. They just yeah. graduated. Like, nah. Wow. But that, that friendship at, at the crab house really yeah. just went. You know, it went. Yeah. We always competitive, but we always friends. You know. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we yeah. would let. Same with Chase, man. We brought Chase in at a young age. Yeah. And he was going through a tough time, and his tables turned dramatically, man. I never seen a person just turn his. We raised that. We, we raised that little motherfucker. Like yeah. we, we raised him, y'all. Yeah, he got, yeah, got some good breaks, man. He took advantage of that yeah. stuff, man. It was because we sat down and talked to like four or five in the morning times with him in the apartment mm -hmm. and just, you know, just like, man, you're going to be all right. And next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. He was gone. He was gone. Yeah, because but I know he the first always time. stayed. He called you. Yeah. I'm doing all right. You know, well, the first time I, I saw him was on the, in the summer league. Uh, y'all using that NBA summer league out in somewhere out out west or somewhere. Man, I, I played five summer leagues. Yeah. <laughs> I said the first Shit. time. I, yeah, yeah the first time I, 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 I don't know which one that was. <laughs> yeah, I but played uh, summer league five you, summers in a row. Utah? Were you at Utah one time or? That was the first. But well, that's yeah. the first time I, I Utah I saw was the it. first. Yeah, yeah, that was my first break. Right, but that that was the first time, and it's, and that and that's a good thing because when they when they uh, said that you was from the area and yeah. stuff like that, and you went to Dunbar, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. But the thing is, it just goes to show, you know, back when y'all was coming up, that's why mm -hmm. I say you you never know what a kid gonna be. Yeah. That's why you can't give up on him. Yeah. Because, see, you know, remember Tayoka? Yep. Tayoka was a, a big, fat, old kid coming down and didn't even want to be down there. Didn't even want to play. Didn't even want to play. Mm -hmm. And then he playing. ended up playing, yeah, started playing. Then he, he ended up in um, playing football, playing football at, Penn State. at Penn State. And then one day I'm sitting there watching and Tampa then, Bay play. Yeah. And the mother said, he got tell he was playing the Cowboys. Yeah. He got tackled by Tayoka Jackson. Yeah. I said, Tayoka. And I'm looking at him. Yeah. The yeah. Then I said, damn. And then they showed his picture. Yeah. And stuff. And then they got the field named after him up there. And you know you, now he he's he owns he's the only black owner that has an IHOP uh -huh. in DC and two of them don't two of them two of them yeah one in South Beach and now I think yeah. one is in Northwest or North Beach yeah the one in Alabama yeah, yeah. South Beach his brother yeah. and his dad Clarence yeah. man they rolling man yeah so you know that's what I say you never know but you know even even with with Moose and all them man yeah. you know when all of y'all come up. Man, you know it's a, it's a it's a camaraderie that you know sometimes that you know when you look back on it, it's like with me and uh, Tony Hunter. Yeah, you know that's yeah. my that you know Tony Hunter that's is my, man. my my yeah. man. Yeah, you know we were there in kindergarten together. Right. You know, so I'm 62 years old. Yeah. So you can imagine somebody that you know that long yeah. is still here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But uh, Tony was a driving force for me because Tony had it. You know, Tony was probably the best athlete. Yeah. Out of all of us, yeah. you know, Tony was about the best athlete out of all of us. You know, that mother could play baseball. I, I remember he hit a baseball up in Keller Miller one time, man. He's probably still looking for that, man. <laughs> you know, because, you know. But that's the type of athlete he was. He yeah. was just that. He was just that good of an athlete, but he was a. You know, Tony would have been a professional football player. Okay. You know, he was just that good. Yeah, Dad you know, was good and a great coach. Yeah, and, and, and so you know, yeah, his father. You know, yeah. so you know when you look at all that. That you talk about the camaraderie, man. See, some <coughs> things ain't worth. You can't write mm -hmm. a check for. Nope. You know, you you no, know, you man. can't. You know, uh, no. and I remember uh, when I first started, uh, a lot of people thought that, like I said, I ain't played no AAU basketball. <coughs> I went on played. Uh, I just worked out down watch by myself because I wanted to be Tony. Mm -hmm. And then I remember one night I was down watch just working out by myself just. Yeah. You know, didn't have nobody, you know, to show me what to do and this and that. So Tony came from a party. Mm -hmm. And this what this you know, you, you know, this what drove me to be to yeah. get to, to the point where I can learn how to play. Yeah. Man, Tony came from the party, I think it was the tenth grade, mm -hmm. ninth grade or something like that. He said, Man, you still sorry. And this is my best friend talking to me like that. He said, man, you still saw right there on watch, right? Sound about right. <laughs> he said, you still saw. That's how so he I talks. said, uh, I said, who are you talking to? He said, I'm talking to you. He said, I've been out all night, and I bet you I still can whip you. 
Yeah. That mother came up and beat me 32 to nothing, man. And I've been out there practicing. Yeah, all day. Come on, Tony Hunter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he beat me good. 32 to nothing, man. I swear to God, I said, I'm never going to let that happen again. <laughs> Damn, I'm never let that happen. He ain't right. beat me since. And that yeah. was like 40 years ago. Yeah. But 50 years ago almost. But I said that to say this. You never know what, what, who could be a driving force behind, you know, you you know you you getting your stuff together and stuff like that because you know Watts was the type of place man that uh, it was more than just a playground for us you know you know you had Miss House and all of them that were down there Ace I mean uh, what's his name uh, Knox mm -hmm. and you know just the people that came through yeah. that really cared for you and then a lot of people don't know that I went to start off at Spring on when I left Evans I never played over Evans with, 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 with Tony now right. yeah I didn't even try out for the team Mosquito. You know, he didn't play neither. Skip but we, but, Jump but uh, shot, I, uh, I went to, so when I went to Spangon, yeah, you know, I thought I was good enough to try out for the team, but they had Steve Higgins and and, and, and Chucky Washington. So <laughs> hey, Jeff, go yeah, that shit. Man. Man. <laughs> so Lindsey told me, my man, Stanley yeah, yeah Lindsey yeah. told me, man, Lindsey told me, don't even come out for the team. I already got my team, so I transferred up to Phelps. Which was right up the street. Mm -hmm. I made the team up there, and Rock Green wouldn't even play me in practice. Oh, okay. So I ended up going to Dubai, yeah. living down by Watts. Charlie Walker, you remember Charlie Walker's shell service station right there in the corner? Mm -hmm. I used to stand on that corner every morning at 4 35 o'clock to get to Dubai, because class started at 7 o'clock. Oh, wow. Yeah, and get out at 2. Mm -hmm. And I used to do, if I, if I didn't make it, if I didn't make it down to 7 Eleven, Glen Arden, that's when the bus came, then I had to hitchhike all the way to Dubai. And you know, y'all was y'all was just little babies there yeah. because it was That's a it was a two lane highway back there, and wasn't nobody picking up no hitchhikers and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So I used to do that. I used to do that for a whole year, two years almost, so because I wanted to play. I really, I really, really wanted to play. And yeah. I, I sometimes I don't say everybody. I don't expect everybody had that type of drive that we had, but because of where we came from, right. where all of us came from, we right. understood. Yeah. But it was always somebody. And, and I tell you, the one that, that surprised me more than anybody was your brother, you know. And I, I told him one day, I said, you know, I told him the same thing that Fatty had told me. Mm -hmm. I said, man, you know, you, you, you're going to be special. Because, you know, he was going through the same thing down with right. yeah, You know, he was going through the same thing in the first year. Yeah. You know, so the thing is, is that you, you can use that for, you mm -hmm. can use that for, uh, and that's what I liked about you all that. See, y'all didn't say no for answer. So you can use that to motivate you, or you can sit there and cry that woe is me right. type thing. See, and that's what I did. I used the thing that Rob <clears throat> Green did to me mm -hmm. up Phelps by not playing me in practice. Now, who don't play in practice? Yeah. But I used that to motivate me instead right. of sitting there, woe is me, sitting around crying and stuff like that. Right. But, you know, uh, you know, Carol Holmes and all of us come up together yeah. and stuff, you know. So that neighborhood, you know, in terms of giving back, you know. Yeah. Because nobody ever thought that Carl would be that the type of coach or mm -hmm. player that he was. Yeah. You know, he was an average player. Right. You know, and that's what we had a bunch of average players, and that's what I loved about Melvin. Yeah. See, like Melvin, they think Melvin had a lot of superstars. Mm -hmm. Melvin might have one or two superstars, maybe Moses, maybe Bernard King, yeah, or, Bernard. or come in, or you know, something like that. But man, if you look at that roster, like like, like his father, yeah. you know, no, yeah. his father. Uh, 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 Mr. G, yeah. you know, Mr. G was bad boy though. I don't yeah, know what the fuck yeah, you yeah. talking about. I ain't saying what you know. That's it, Hollis. No, I mean, that's it, Hollis. Okay, okay, right, right. I'm, right, right. I'm just saying, but you know, they they were players that, like you say, you know, if you try to go somewhere yeah. else, and they man, they be Huckabuck, Huckabuck, yeah. Gene Oliver, uh, uh, you know, Vi, Kermit, Kermit, Vi, yeah, you know, and, 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 and so when you look at those type of players, though, man, but you know, Vi was the police officer. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. and Hank, Hank Johnson, Hank, and then Hank sometimes, you know, them guys y'all no, used to Penn. cheer for. <laughs> Hank went to Penn. He went to Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, so the thing is, is what I'm saying is that, you know, uh, when I when I look at the basketball that's playing today, and I don't like to compare it to what y'all y'all did because it's a different era, but the game's still the same. I, the players I, I, might I, I be, totally agree with you. Yeah, but the players might be different. So and stuff like that. But see, a lot of them can play, but they just don't know how to play. So then you know, it goes back to what you were saying. They're talented. Yeah, they're talented. But you know, they, they, they wonder them. about when y'all get them on the court, that y'all be beating the hell out of them. Yep. Because they don't understand that y'all, you know, y'all know the game and right. they don't. And they try to use their athleticism to always 
take them to another level. The athleticism is gonna leave one day. Hey, hey, well, yeah, that shit gonna leave. But that's what we just talking about before the show. Yeah. We just talking about certain players. They was only athletic, right? Right. So and now you get older. Now you can't play no more. Yeah, you can't play no more. Yeah, you can't play no more. Yeah, you can't. I give a good example, man. I was at Curl, and Kirk was home for like a couple of days when he was in junior college. We had a game Friday night against McNamara. He banging on my door Saturday morning at eight o'clock. Come on, come on, man, let's go. We got stuff to do uptown. We're going to about to play some people. <laughs> I slept in my uniform. I had to take my jersey off and just play in my shorts. We went uptown and played for four hours, man. Wow. Yeah. Man, that, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And you wasn't tired. Yeah. Because you wanted to do it. He knew to come get me because he was like, let me go get my young and get them ready. Yeah. Yeah. He man. always kept me prepared, man. Hey, hey, hey Crab, I agree with you totally 100%. I was saying 75, though. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, Crab say, yeah, Ducky with a gay chase, Ducky with a gay chase 65, easy. Oh, I was thinking 75. How many you, gay crab? We ain't going to do a man crab. Right <laughs> That's my brother. But, you know, but, but you, you know, the funny thing about it, man, you know, I always see y'all guys talk about who's better sometimes and who, who you think is better and this and that, you know. But, you know, as uh, far as me, I, uh, it was so many of them guys better than me. Right. You know, you know, I mean, talking about athletic-wise. Oh. But I could do more things right. better than they right. could do. Because I, and, and, and when my name come up, see, it come up because of the consistency that I had when I was playing. It wasn't even about the fact that, you know, I was a, I was a better athlete than most of those guys. Yeah, you, you, but, was, you was a terrible athlete. Yeah, I was, I was, but I, you know, they but, couldn't outplay you. but they couldn't outplay me because I, see, I knew that I had to, you know, I had to learn how to I, play. I, I, see, I, I, and that's I, I, what I'm saying. What Fatty them yeah. told you, what, the, what, what Fatty them would yeah. teach you, and what the rest of, because I had good coaches. See, I had a good yeah. coach over at Duval. I had a good coach in junior college. I had right. a good coach in, in, in uh, at, at Cornell. Yeah. And, you know, and hold on one second, yeah. bro. We got a. Ivy League graduate right here. <laughs> for the last person said we don't have nobody on here with a degree. Yeah, with two of them. Who said yeah. that? Who said that? Yeah. Cornell yeah. University. Yeah. 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 So, Who said that? Who said you ain't got ain't no yeah. We are. I got my degree. That. Yeah, you got a degree yeah. too. But who said that? talking about a yeah. guess. But you know. Uh, oh, a guess. Last yeah, week. But like I was saying. Oh, though, yeah. They, somebody the reason, did say that. The had somebody why, on there with some, with, that, that got their degree. Yeah. Somebody the reason, did say the that. I can't remember you, who it was. Wow. You see my name come up in the in the discussion sometimes as being one of the best players around here. You won't hear me say it. JT thrill here next week. But it, it, it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be trying to find some yeah. shit. But, but uh yeah, but the reason why my name come up a lot because if you if you look at the all the <laughs> tournaments and everything that was played at court, uh the person that walked away with the most valuable player in every tournament yeah. was me. And you know, <laughs> you know, no matter no matter who was on my team, you know, I mean there was a time when uh you remember the time when me, Moses, and Bernard King were down Melbourne? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, up in, the, in Joe the, Pace, Joe Pace, and all the S.C. Hollis and all, yeah. all those guys, and Mr. G. and Mr. G. And that, you know, the thing is, and JoJo. Yeah. And so you have to learn how to really play with those type of guys, man. You know, yeah. and uh, and if well, you fourth quarter, who they going to? They went to me. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, just like this. Yeah, I used to mess with Kirk. I used to mess with Kirk back there because Kirk, when y'all was playing over, when y'all was playing over uh, Barry Farm one year, uh, and Kirk missed his shot against Ty Lawson. Remember y'all played Ty Lawson? And I told I Kirk, I said, "Tell him my team, I think." Yeah. But he was on your team one. Year, one year, year y'all lost but we overtime. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He played against us like right, two twice. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. y'all went in the overtime, and yeah. I told Kirk, I said, "See, that's the difference between me and you." See, I would have hit that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would have hit that. I would have hit that game winner. Right? You, you should never do that. Bro. See, so that was that, that was the difference between me and him, though. But uh, but but, but yeah, son yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, I told him that, man. You know, you please son him. Yeah. Oh boy, but that was the difference, though, because you know. uh 
Uh, but I, I always won the MVP. I won the MVP down Sherwood about eight times. I won it so many times down there. They told me they had to get it to somebody else one time. <laughs> you know, they, they came. I'm not sure they literally came to me and told me. Charles Ball came to me and told me that man, we can't give it to you no more, man. We got to give it to somebody else. So yeah, they gave it to the loser. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the coalition yeah. twice and yeah. the Ridge Road tournament and every every major tournament that was played around here. But see, the thing is, is that. Because when y'all used to come and watch us play, yeah. see, I, I, you know, I, you know, I, I wanted to show you all that yeah. it can be done. Yeah. I hear so many dudes saying, "Talking about I'm too small, man," and mm -hmm. you know, and, man, and this you and that, that all, the time. all the time. And I, I don't understand what you're playing for then. You did that right. all the time. What you, what you out there for? Right. If you believe it. If you believe yeah. it, yeah. If you believe it, why you playing? Yeah. yeah. You know, you got just like back in the day when we. Come and see y'all play the Herbo. I, I mean, with with, with y'all, man, but you guys, you Uncle Rodney, oh man, Mr. G, all y'all guys, man, just it was just <coughs> to see y'all play before the Herbo. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like just yeah. around the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just and just watch y'all play. You know what I'm saying? So man, when you get up the Herbo and watch y'all play, you got guys, man. Who's that? Yeah. Who's that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? We yeah. like this, 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 these are our uncles, man. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? You walking out that jungle with 50 at a time. You know what I'm saying? And just. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even that watch, man, you used to joke around, play a little bit, you know, you mm -hmm. drew a man, you ain't no, no through the legs, no fancy stuff, just, yeah. just straight getting the bucket, you know what I'm saying, with the back down move. Yeah. And, I mean, that, it, orig it originated from you, as far as yeah. where I got that from, you know what I'm saying, just not wasting energy and getting the bucket, you know what I'm saying, just know how to play the game. No, I, yeah. you know, and being out there with, I mean, shit, I mean, one year y'all had, like, a nice mob, but then you look at the box scores, you know what I'm saying? It's Dougie yeah. Vaughn with 50 out there, yeah. joint. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Herbo yeah. used to keep the top scores in the league. Yeah. I mean, Bernard Vaughn was like always up there, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, just, just to know that, you know, just yeah. just to be right beside that situation as far as like watching you guys play back in the day we were small, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was an honor for us. And I remember, I'll never forget this day when at the Melbourne Crab House tournament, when it was like, I mean, like I said, it was, it was, it was the best ever. When you put the young mob out there, oh, you yeah, put my yeah, brother yeah. Michael Bass, yes, yeah. Andre McLeod, yes, like Sonny Hit, yeah, I'm like, man, <laughs> you you actually started that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? That's what yeah. made me kind of over the farms back in the day, bringing young guys. It's, you just got to play. Yeah, eventually yeah, they gonna be out there anyway. When when you did that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I can remember that back back in the yeah, day yeah. watching that. Yeah, and, uh, and I was too young to even get out there to even. I'm, I was watching, right. but but that's yeah, the yeah. that's what you installed. You know what I'm saying, and, and and guys like us, man. You know, yeah. And, and that that's what's not going on today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Too much. It's too much bullshit going on today. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's too much bullshit going it's on. It's almost today. like a system for real. Yeah, it's, like it's, if it's you're not, not a part of the bullshit. system, then yeah. right. You ain't got nothing to do yeah. with it. But yeah, just to hop on with yeah. even what both of y'all was just talking about, just from a mentality standpoint, the same way you took them under your wing in a yeah. sense. It's the same way that they did to me, right? Because I'm yeah. I'm the baby out of this whole right. group, yeah. but at the same time, my mentality didn't change. They just enhanced my mentality because I was an angry basketball player. Right. Sorry, I ain't know how to play or nothing. I just sorry, sorry, everything was score, 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 score. Yeah, score, sorry, score, 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 score and turn the ball over. I don't care if I turn the ball over. Score, score and turn score, the ball over. Uh, a bucket will yeah. alleviate that turnover. You know what I'm saying? It's going to balance itself out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Period. So if I turn the ball over, I'm going to score the basketball. But what they did was like when I was when I first started playing on the same team as Kurt, even when I was in college, like he would call me after games or you know, during the week before a game or whatever the case may be, and he ain't doing nothing but gassing me up. Yeah. And he know that I'm going to respond to it because we will argue on the phone. Mm -hmm. Be like, man, shut the fuck up, man. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. <laughs> but he know that that got me ready to play, yeah. and it enhanced everything from from college games to, you know, playing summer league games, like NBA summer leagues and all that other shit. This yeah. is what he would do to get me ready to yeah. play for a game because he know that he knew how to push my button to make me angry, yeah, yeah. but I I learned how to play the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, but a lot of that too, because that's how he was. <coughs> exactly. So I'm stubborn. Lot, I'm, stu lot, I'm stubborn saw, as fuck. And, Don't and, fuck you. Yeah, Don't talk and to and me. He was the same way. Yeah, I know. He's the exact and, same and, way. Eleven years old, cussing and. 
Yeah. <laughs> and all of that stuff. Everybody said, said exactly yeah. what you said. I ain't yeah. trying to hit that and shit. You know, he did. Yeah, that's how he, but see. But he know, locked you in. But yeah, but see, there's a time in life we call projection. You see mm-hmm. something that somebody else you see in yourself. Mm-hmm. And see, he 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 knew where he came from that that's all he did was just push. He just yeah. push, 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 push. He start but, shit. Yeah, and and but he know how to push your buttons and he's stuff a, like he's that. A shit starter. Yeah, you know, but Period. the thing is that man, you know, when you when you look at it. Uh, in its totality, you know, it's really, really good that, you know, you take the time. People got different ways of, of, of dealing with people, you know. Mm-hmm. Some people got the mild way. Some people got to put your arms around. Some people got to kick in the head, you know, and, and to get them excited. But see, the thing, I, 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 when I see y'all coaching and stuff like that, see, we never got that. Now, could you imagine if we had what they got in there when y'all was coming up. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I mean, talk about it all the time. Yeah, you know, uh, and, that shit is crazy. And, and going back to what you were saying about uh, uh, that, that that team, and I, I almost lost my friendship with Melvin behind that like team. But then was our kids, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 because he said, go get a team. Melvin said, go get a team and put in the tournament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I go down and watch. <laughs> And you got I get, all, I, get, I, get <laughs> I get I get his brother Smitty, mm-hmm. I get Mike Wright, I get Daniel Swin, I get Michael Best, I get Little Sonny. Yeah, you had and, you know, I, yeah, and, and we had no big man. Right. Mm-hmm. And they come down there with Earl Jones and Michael Britt and all that man yeah. and, and Mike Wright them slammed him into the pole. His yeah. uncle them slammed <laughs> Michael Britt them into the pole down there. You know, Mel had you know yeah. pole down there. Yeah. And, and but but the thing is, man, I would say, where you get them hook, them hoolers from? Where you get them thugs from? And I would tell myself, well, man, them dudes be out here on your playground every day. <laughs> and the same dudes be out here on your playground every day, you know. Yeah. <coughs> but the thing is, is that you know I had enough confidence in them to give them an opportunity at that particular time, because you know if you were not on somebody's team, you mm-hmm. couldn't play. But I said, man, you know, I just want to show that our area had some of the best basketball players. We might not have no height. But right. they, you know, you didn't have to worry about giving no heart. It's and dogs. that's why and that's why I talk I, that's why I tell the kids all the time when we was up coolies playing that thing and, and they was beating us and you said, Yeah, yeah, yeah y'all yeah, get yeah. the help you down, y'all <laughs> But I told the dude, I said, Man, you know, sometimes it ain't about X's and O's. Right. It's about your heart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't just let somebody talk to you any kind of way on the court. You know, because oh, yeah. I ain't never seen y'all do, you know, y'all ain't never let nobody do that. Mm-hmm. And stuff, and I just, then I said, well, it's a different era. Because yeah. I said back then, you know, they would have never did that to Kirk them. You know, and, 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 and it's just a different, it's just different, man, in yeah. reference to this, what's the name? And that's why I say sometimes I just don't even, uh, it used to be in a high. I don't even know what it is, man. Right. It, you know, I mean, in a high, even though it's the worst team, it, the worst team in a high. It ain't that no more, is yeah. it? Yeah. It's still, yeah. it's still DCIAA. Yeah. Because the DCIAA started when I was in, when I started high school. City title. Yeah. And now they got yeah. the city yeah. title. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know they changed the format. From the but. time when we was playing, and you know, and then when y'all was playing, mm-hmm. from top to bottom on both sides, the west and the east. You mm-hmm. always can get a game. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't no and walk in the park. It wasn't, it wasn't no but bullshit. Man, I, I came and went to a basketball game, man, and I, mm-hmm. and I said, man, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know, and I sit there, man, and, and the dude, I wear Wilson. I got on the subway and came home. Trust I me, rolled I, with somebody else. I coached it for two years. Yeah. But I can't even watch you play one year. But, see, the, but, but the thing is, what yeah. y'all do now is far different from what I had to do. Cause see now y'all gotta be more than just a coach of these kids. Nah, yeah, you know you gotta be a you mentor. Gotta you gotta you gotta take care. You, gotta you know, take care you gotta, of them, like hundred you know. percent. Mm-hmm. So, you know, bells, bondsmen. Yeah, bell bondsmen. <laughs> yeah, y'all, 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 y'all got one of more stabs. A mentor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. counselor. Then, yeah, one that had the ankle oh, brace on the whole team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> referee asked me what was in there. I said, man, he's he's, he's heavily taped. He had a kid. <laughs> Yeah, the kid. <laughs> the ankle was heavily taped. on the ankle monitor the whole year. He was everybody else was playing in the uniform, but he was playing to play long sweatpants. <laughs> Took us ten minutes to get through security one time, and shit kept going on. Yeah, so you know, but late for the game, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but all, we had to rush him on his yeah. uniform. Say most Great of kid. Tape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Strawberry, yeah. what's up, homie? We yeah. played out West Virginia. Come on, home, man. Came up with show, man. Big Scar. Yeah. He got cigarettes in his sock. I was like, nah, man, come yeah. here, man. So the ref, come yeah, here. Talk to him. Yeah, I said, we're fine. Yeah. Okay, he's clear. I got the papers right here. 
He was like, all right. Yeah, see, you had to do, see, that's, that's just too much. You're just not coaching. You know, I mean, it's not, you know, I mean, when I was had y'all, it was just totally different. Yeah. I ain't even had to, y'all are fine basketball. Yeah. Uh, you know, y'all, I mean, y'all. Passion like that. Yeah, passion, yeah. Passion is nothing. Passion. One of the biggest things I learned from watching you play was the composure you kept on the court. Yeah. You never yeah. let your opponent know well, what you was thinking and if. You know, it get a little rough, you know how to handle it, but you wouldn't be all out of control with it. You just go down and bust the ass. Yeah. Sound oh, assassin. Oh, you, bro, you, you just said it. Sound <laughs> assassin. Yeah. But you know, and, and, that, and that's the whole thing, though, man. Because when I, when I, and you know, you were talking about the CBA, you know, and I, I played in the oh, CBA. Mojo. When it was really the CBA. Yeah. You know, and, um, and um, but that's why I say that that's a stomping ground, you know. Like you say, the passion that I had for basketball back then, man, I used to travel. I used to work with them, then leave here on Fridays, you know, go to work. Yeah. Leave here on Fridays, go up to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And uh, play with uh, Fly Williams and those guys up in New Jersey for the Jersey Show Bullets and the CBA for $50 a game, right? And I, I never forget this, man. <laughs> Look, I rode up here. Jersey to play, we was in the playoffs, man. So this dude on the team, but Fly Williams was on the team, right? Mm -hmm. Fly Williams was making about five hundred dollars a game. Man, I'm gonna snatch my check one time when the dude gave it to me, man. They started laughing at my check. I had fifty dollar check, right? <laughs> <laughs> so they say, man, I know you ain't coming all the way up this month for no fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, yeah, all the way up to New Jersey and back up to Asbury Park. But like you say, the passion. I had a passion. And then part of me just said, you know, I, I love Kirk them so much when they was coming up. I still do, but especially when they were younger because I wanted them to see that they, you know, in our neighborhood, we had so many people that came in and they went to college and never finished. Right. They went there, they never finished, man. They dropped mm -hmm. them back off in the neighborhood, back back down Watts. Yep. Because, see, you know, Watts was a stomping ground, really, at one particular time where you can get off. Because that's where everybody came to. Right. Everybody came to. And, and, and one of the best basketball players that I ever seen in my life was Jerry McDaniel. Bad mistakes you talking about. Yeah, Jerry McDaniel. People yeah. say what they want to say, man, but Jerry McDaniels was, one, was the first big guard that I ever seen that really, really could, you know, could handle the ball. And then he made all met three straight years in a row. Jerry, in front was, of Jerry was gonna have that big and try to uh, uh, cook it out the turf, cooking, cooking, cooking like a yeah, motherfucker. Cooking. Yeah, cooking, but you know, yes, he was. He, that's a class of his own. If somebody cooking, made like, yeah, yeah, he the first that. same all met three, three years in a row, three, three times, times. three times. Time. You right. know any? I know one other person that made all met three times. Adrian Danny did. Adrian Danny did. So that's I know three then. Yeah, I know three names. Adrian Danny, Chris. Chris Wright. Wright, and there was a guy back in the '60s that did it yeah, and first. And he yeah, uh, he'd have been the first pick. Yeah, he'd have yeah, been the yeah. first pick in the draft. Doug, yeah. Let's talk about uh, who you, Stacy Robinson, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean, all everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my own who's everybody, all y'all, man. How special was Stacy on that court? Stacy was special. Stacy was, you know, and that, and that's the, you know, sometimes when you do it like that, it's a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. You know, and and, and, and and but Stacy was so daggone good. I remember Jerry Tarkanian and Norm Sloan and North Carolina Stacy. Stacy was in the eighth grade over at Pullen. And they say Stacy was the best basketball player they seen at that time. And that was coming from Norm Sloan and, and Jerry Tarkanian. And that was all high school and junior high. Yeah, he was a junior high there. But Stacy was just that good, man. Stacy uh Stacy's just a, a, a example, you know, just like with me and anybody else of uh, uh, if you don't stay focused mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, yeah. uh, and, and, you know, if you don't stay focused and stuff, if Stacy stayed focused, Stacy probably would have been another Kobe Bryant or better. That's how good he was, you know. Stacy was just that good, but Jerry Mack was better. I heard Jerry, that. Man, I heard that. Stacy ain't gonna argue with that. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he said, said that. He that's that's what I'm saying. But by, by where, where, where we come from, yeah. because oh. see, it was it, it was, was a multitude. So Every time yeah. somebody would leave. Mm -hmm. You know, you always had somebody else that came behind mm -hmm. them. You know, so when it was Jerry, then it was Stacy, mm -hmm. you know, and then it might have been me, then it was you, and then it was, you know, you. And mm -hmm. so, you know, and then your brother. Mm -hmm. See, because I, you know, but Stacy was was was, was, was uh, one of the best players I ever seen, too. One of the best players is just that, you know, he he uh, uh, he didn't go to college. I mean, he went to Bob of Scotia. I think he went down to Bob of Scotia. Well, he told his story. Funny yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he went to Bob of Scotia, though. But Stacy had, Stacey had D1, D1 written all over him. I'm talking about high D1, you know. 
written yeah. all over there. Jerry stuff. Mack, too, right? Yeah, Jerry Mack, yeah. Jerry, Both Jerry. Both of them parade, like, length to Man, cats out and fried mm-hmm. all these niggas on the panel, man. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's up, I done fried. What's up, you land cast? I know you don't know that. I done fried Kirk whole family, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, done, I, done, I done fried Kirk whole family, man. I, I, Rodney, Fatty, Smitty, and Kirk, and Lil Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody there. I'm going out to his nephew now. <laughs> I get in there, yeah. But we used to have some good battles down there, John, though. But yeah, man, Stacy was kind of Talk cool. about your friends in Boston just a little bit. Oh, yeah. I, uh, uh, when I was at Cornell, mm-hmm. and uh, I made, and then one thing, the first thing I ever did, you know, I made all, all conference my first year up there. Okay. And then my second year, I only played like eight games and made first team. Oh, yeah. Ivy. Okay. And that's, that's never been done. You know, that has never been done. I only played like eight or nine games. But see, Tom Penders was at at Columbia. Mm-hmm. Tom and, and Tom Penders. Coach, Texas. Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, Tom, Coach Penders, Rowley, yeah. Tom yeah. Penders was at Texas. I mean, at Columbia. Seth Sanders and Mike Jobs was at, at, at Harvard. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, Chuck Daly was at Pennsylvania. Okay. That's what Big Hank was from, from yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. So we had some good coaches in our league, mm-hmm. you know, that had ties to the NBA. Uh, and see, Seth Sanders was the head coach at, at Harvard, you mm-hmm. know. And so when my senior year came, I thought that I played well enough to try to get, because the draft went like 10, 10 rounds then, mm-hmm. you know. But what happened was uh, when I, uh, I was sitting outside waiting for the draft, and I didn't get drafted, so my mother came outside and said, well, uh, Red Allback is on the phone. So I said, Red Allback, and I said, y'all need to stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get drafted, and then y'all want to y'all wanna mess around and, and, and start some mess. But anyway, I went inside, and I picked the phone up, and it was Red Allback on the phone, and Seth Sanders, and they told me, they said, look, uh, uh, you come to Boston, you know, yeah. you know, if you play well, you stay. If you don't, you go home. It was just that simple. He says, on you. So Melvin, you know, Melvin had the tournament going on at the time mm-hmm. and stuff, man. And uh, Melvin put me on a plane. Mm-hmm. And when I got to Boston, man, uh, you, I don't know if you remember Skip Brown, he used to play with Wake Forest. Yeah. But, you know, Cedric Maxwell, you know, he was my roommate. But Cedric Maxwell was the, was the first first round pick that year. Yeah, out of Skip shot. Brown, yeah. Skip Brown was the second pick. Out of Wake Forest, you know he went to Wake Forest. Skip yeah, Brown went to Wake Forest, yeah. and then they had the boy from DeMatha, Billy Langlow, from Virginia. <coughs> and so when I got up to Boston, man, you know, and the one thing about Boston, I don't know if you ever been up there. See, they don't I've practice. Been to Boston. They don't been, They don't practice indoors in the daytime. They practice on outdoors. So they got well, no, nah, not for court. not for yeah. not with the team or anything nah, like that. Nah, but yeah. No, when you go to camp though, they got a camp called Camp Millbrook, and they got all the college players up there you know, doing the camp. But anyway, at Camp Millbrook, they got this outdoor course and they make these, they don't put you up in no hotel, they put those stupid log cabins. Okay. So when I get up there, John, right? So I get up there, that's like they, they start that salty pride in you. I agree with you, Lonnie B. So, so what I do is uh, I get up there and uh, so we had, so that's like being at Watts for me, outdoor playground, <laughs> yeah. five glass back. Well, that's the only difference. We had had moon back, yeah, yeah, they got five. Yeah, yeah. And I said, I know these Negroes ain't, ain't been playing outdoors and right. stuff. I've been playing outdoors all my life. But what happened was uh, Skip Brown was out there running past everybody. You know, he's first team all ACC. Yeah. And he was in my, so he, he run past Billy Langlo, he laid up and in, blah, blah. So Seth Sanders said, uh, so Tommy, uh, Tommy Heisen was the head coach. He said, uh, who ain't been in yet? I hear from the, because I wanted to go out against that first team, you know. The, so when I went out for that first team, he said, little man ain't been in. He said, put little man in the game. So I get on Skip Brown, right? Mm-hmm. Skip Brown put the ball on the ground. I swiped him up, lay it up and in, you know. So he coming back up quick, I swipe it again, lay it up and in. Right, so Red all back said, dang. You know, so they didn't believe it. So at nighttime, we went in the gym. So they said, man, give me that little dude back out here again. I want to see it just, you know. And so I ended up uh, killing Skip Brown. Mm-hmm. But he was running past Billy Langlo, who was slow. So when we got back up there to, uh, to, the, to the high school, 
started me, me, Cedric Maxwell and Walter. But they had this little kid named Bill, Bill Burrell out of Southern California. Uh, they had this other boy named Jerry Ford out of Nebraska. But he was all their draft picks. Man, I, I went in that mug, man, and I, I strapped up on him. I strapped up on so good, then I never flew me home for the for the tournament. Uh-huh. I played the championship game with, down in, down at the outdoor tournament. Yeah. That's how crazy this was. And I, I I I play in the tournament, then I go back to Boston the next day. Yeah. Right? Get back to Boston, right? And so now they got Charlie Scott and all of them up there. Charlie Scott, uh 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 Dave Cowens, uh they got the vets. Uh, they got the vets up there now, right? So Jojo White. So I'm playing with Jojo White. And this is why I understand what you're saying about, you know, you gotta learn how to score. Mm-hmm. Because that's the first time, you know, because before I started up the coalition, I wasn't no score. You know. But uh, Jojo White, we was playing in the scrimmage game and, and we was running up the court and me and Jojo White were on the same team. So I kept passing the ball. And Jojo White threw the ball over my head on the takeout. He did it like four times in a row. So I'm like right here, right? He threw it over my head to the next person. You know? And then they called timeout, right? And then he tells me, he said, you know why I threw the ball over your head? I said, no, nah, why you throw the ball over my head? He said, man, he said, money in the basket. He said, let's leave the money in the basket. If you mm-hmm. can't show them that you can score, you ain't going to make this thing. You can play all the defense you want. But you better show them that you can really score. Because if you don't, you ain't going to make the team. So when I, you know, so when the final cuts came, you know, that's why I probably didn't make the team. Because so you, you, you went there not being Ducky Vaughn. Not being me, yeah. Because right. he, yeah, right. because he, and that's what I try to tell people all the time, Kurt, is that when, and I think you know this too, but uh, uh, when you playing, See, mm-hmm. scouts want to see if you can play with people that know how to play. And be yourself at the same time. Yeah, and, and be your, and they don't want, if, I, if I already know you average 40 out of cards, I don't need to see you score 40. Right. In, right. I want to see what else you can do. Something else. So when you mm-hmm. tell people that, now they look at you like you're crazy. Mm-hmm. I tell kids that all the time. I say, man, you know, your talent can only take you but so far. I say, what, what, I say if all five of us were sitting around and we were trying to put together a squad and we had one spot left, Mm-hmm. And the talent level was the same. How do we pick who we want? Wow. See, so but you know, That's a great question. You know, so Man. you you know you do that by finding out who, who <clears throat> you know who can do what. Mm-hmm. So if all you can do is shoot and the ball don't go in, you know where you going. <laughs> you know you going you going you going out the door. You going to sit on the bench. Right. So I understand when you when you when you be coaching why you do some of the things that you do. <clears throat> but a lot of us that never played the game don't understand that. Mm-hmm. They be say, "Oh man, got my son on the bench and <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'd be and, yeah. crazy. That'd be crazy, you know, and yeah. stuff like that." But that, and that's the part that goes that back to determine how far you go. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I always went further mm-hmm. because it was fair that got me in Denver. Mm-hmm. You know, two you know, a year later I was up at Denver mm-hmm. Nuggets camp. It was fair that got me in Denver, and the same thing happened. The same thing happened. What? But I went with a better attitude. I was scoring and everything, yeah. but they had everybody on the contract. Right. And stuff. Yeah, everybody. Like that, 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 yeah, now yeah, the numbers yeah. came. The numbers play. came into yeah. play. But the thing is, is, I learned how to play with people that knew how to play. Right. right. Yeah. See, and I remember Moses telling Greg Sanders. You remember Greg got drafted by the Knicks. Right. Yeah. Right. And I remember, and this was Kirk. This when they uh was up uh, Gonzaga. You remember they had the court yeah, 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 up yeah, Gonzaga yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And Greg Sanders got drafted in the seventh round by by the New York Knicks. Okay. But if he left a year before, he probably would have been a first, first round pick because he was the MVP of the NIT. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the Otis Bird song, he yeah. killed Otis Bird song, them guys yeah. up at Master School. Definitely Garden. remember that. Yeah, he should have. And, uh, Definitely remember that. And I never forget, and I try to pass this on from what I hear from people that, now Moses was a Hall of Fame. Right. But I remember, man, when, you know, Greg won't pass the ball, nobody. Greg, the only person I know. Call that Greg, Greg Sweatsuit Bill. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Greg, Greg Sanders was the only person I know. Y'all know this, that he'd be on a fast break and pull up and shoot a mm-hmm. three-point three, three, three point ball. Five, I ain't seven. never seen him shoot a, 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 a layup. And, 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 and so I remember Moses coming over to the bench when we was up mm-hmm. Gonzaga with me, uh, Moses Malone, JoJo Hunter, Greg. And it was, I think it was Hank or somebody that met, but anyway. Right, JoJo and, Hunter and Mr. Jones. Yeah, and Mr. Jones. <laughs> yeah, Joe, that's just like having yeah. sweating, Lon's Moten. <laughs> 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 I know, Kurt, 
Right. How did and you I get know, it right? Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't. But, but see, here's the thing. But I didn't. But, I, but see, he did with him. He said, but I didn't. And Moses didn't get it neither. So oh, Moses man. came over yeah. to the bench, and he told Melvin. He said, Melvin, he told Greg right in front of Melvin, he said, man, if you play like that when you go up in New York, he said, you're going to be home in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, and I, and I never forgot that, you know, because yeah. and then the next thing you know, Greg was back home. Yeah. We played a 4 o'clock game in the coalition. The next day, Greg was back for the 4 o'clock game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and the thing is, that, and that's what he was saying. He said, because Moses said, they want to see how well you play with people that know how to play. Right, right. See, right. you know, you, we already know you can score, but Greg was a prolific score. And a lot right. of people don't talk oh, yeah. about that. You know, Greg was a prolific scorer, but see, Greg was the type of dude that uh, that he'll talk trash to you. You know that he'll talk trash yeah. to you, and he didn't think nobody can check him. So back in your back in your era, uh, back in your era, give me your top five scores in your era. Scores in your era. Scores. Not, no order, just your top five. Well, I'm for me at the top. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. See, see well, y'all don't know. That's why I say the shit I say. You know what I'm saying? I, le- I, I, I learn. From, I learn from the best, man. <laughs> I don't see who else was back there. Adrian, Adrian Danny was pretty good though, even though he was so methodical. Man, give me a yeah. top five. I am. We don't need. We don't need. Listen, listen, Dougie. We don't need this Cornell University degree <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. Let's go right now. Your top five. You got some Cornell. Your top five. Up there, man. Your top five. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got a few top Cornell. Five, man. Well, I'm just trying to think, man, because uh, Lynn Byers, uh, Frank Ross. Not, not your er. They, they, they played with me. Nah, no, no, you made me. Oh, you talking about me? Your day. Your day. Your day. Stacy, I'm, I'm killing me for this, but Archie Tyler, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, me, Archie Tyler, that's two. Uh, Greg Sanders, three, uh, uh, Jerry Mack, four, and and Stacy. Okay, five. Stacy, hey Stacy, hey Stacy, no hey, St- hey, hey, I ain't never, I ain't never heard a motherfucker. Wait to the fifth. You the fifth man on that roster. No order, no order. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Stacy called in the month. I go down, I go down shop here tomorrow. He <laughs> won't even speak to me, man. Uh, yeah. So you take oh, Stacy Robinson or JoJo Hunter? Stacy Robinson. Stacy Robinson. JoJo was a prolific scorer, man. Stacy was just, I, I don't know, I, I, you know, Stacy was just the type of person, man, that you had to see him. That you said you walk away from me, I can't believe he did that stuff. Yeah. You know, Jodine said that's why he never started Stacy. You know, Jodine said told me that the reason, one of the reasons why he wouldn't start Stacy because everybody was standing around watching him. He was just that good. Damn. You know, he was just that good, man. Stacy, man, Stacy was tough, man, especially in high school. But you know, he, he had you know, all American and he didn't start. Yep, he didn't start. Good. And then you know, <laughs> and then they made all met over there at Cross and then they came over Dunbar, made. Yeah. yeah. But Stace was just that good, though, man. But like I say, but uh, yeah, he probably killed me for bringing Archer name, but he, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't tell the bad boy. Man. He was bad boy. But you know, he from out. He know, he know why. You know, so you know, he he, know, he, he, from, he was the third all-time leading scorer in the history of college basketball. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. So he came out of our neighborhood. He right out of the yeah. So it, it's same uh, school, Little Rob. Little Rob, yeah. and see, that's what I what I really like, man, because you never know. Because I never thought that you. Or you, I knew y'all would be good, but I didn't think y'all would be that good, you know. And then especially look crab. I was, I was watching TV one day and I saw Cotton State play, yeah. <laughs> playing Navy or somebody yeah, or what's yeah, the name. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and then I, and the mother calling the dude Mel Roberts' name. And I'm looking. I said, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> I said, "They got another Mel Roberts something." <laughs> <laughs> and it was little Rob, but see, you know, but my heart was like, you know, because yeah. I, I said, "Man, you know, I had that dude, man, That's and right. stuff like that, right. you know." And uh, and uh, so I, I I feel just as much honored, man. You know, y'all just don't know. Sometimes I be thinking about, you know, and then, you know, like with my daughter and all them, you know, y'all been so close since y'all been. Yeah. I mean, y'all in y'all 40s now. So, you know, you're talking about when y'all was little, y'all were not teenagers yeah. then. Yeah. 11, 12 years old. So that's oh. that's a long time. And sometimes, you man, know, when, just... when people get involved with this dumb stuff, man, I don't understand what it's about. Right. You know, see, my friendship, you know, with you all, Go too far back mm-hmm. for that, cause he, you know, cause I called him sometimes. I said, man, Kirk, Kirk ain't messing with me right now, man. <laughs> he yeah. crazy to me. And so I say, hey, and he'll say, well, man, oh man, that's Kirk, man. You know that crazy. <laughs> you know that crazy. He ain't doing nothing but messing with you, man. But he know how to mess with me, so I, that's yeah. why I know. 
He mess with me the same way. Yeah, I get a it, text every morning. STFU. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I know this nigga ain't send this again. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing, though. He just said it earlier. STFU. And you know, and I've been doing him all my life, but I don't know if he's serious or not, right? He'll say something like, man, don't say nothing to me, man. <laughs> Don't say nothing to me, man. I ain't talking to you right now, man. I'm sure. So I said, well, man, let me get some shoes out the trunk, man. Something like that. He said, man, I'm not meeting out. He said, I'm serious, man. Don't say nothing to me, man. I, I said, I know what you're talking about, man. I tell you, I, call, I, I called Charlie. I said, man, I don't know what's wrong with Tim, man. And, and he, he the calm one. See, he like me. He like me. He said, man, don't listen to that stuff, man. Man, Kirk just crazy as all the man. He all right. He just messing with you, man. That stuff, man. But you know, but that's the, but that's the thing, though. Cause I know what you're talking about when you say million. Man, mother would speak to me. He oh, talking about man. I cut your man. You, don't, you don't want to say nothing. To oh me. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Chase, I, his man tried over the, for the team. What team? The AAU, AAU team. team. Couple years ago, okay. and I cut him. You know what I'm saying? He cut him really. He cut he really, really cut himself. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, I ain't heard from Ducky. No name. Ducky was calling every day. What's up? Yeah. Cut his man. You know. And I, I ain't heard from him. Ducky, I know you cut him. Yeah. yeah. Or after he wasn't on the team no more. Yeah. Uh, Ducky uh, cuts me out. I, no, but she hear what I did. Ducky cuts me out. I, 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 I wasn't mad at them because he didn't make yeah, that. Yeah, I wanted. He, he didn't. They had to play him. <laughs> but he ended up making all. Oh no, no, he he, no, he, he played that. But see, the thing is, is that y'all missed out or he too. He was. He was at that time. But see, but he, but he, but he, he was there though. They were messing with Sweatsuit Bill, nephew. No. Uh, what's oh, his name? DJ. <laughs> DJ. But his, Sweat we at? But here's what DC I want. DC for me and but, Damon. But here's what no I, comment. Here's what oh, I wanted DJ. to say about Kirk. You, 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 you hear that when, when, when we cut his crew, man. He, but I want to get left alone. Yeah, he, he, he's back in the family no, now, man. But, yeah, I, but I, wanted, I wanted the kid out there because I knew it would be good for him and he'd learn from them. Right. So it wasn't a matter of them playing them. You know, it was just a matter of if he was on the team yeah, with them yeah. and being a part of, he'll learn about work ethic. And, 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 and see, and I, and then what I what I get at them about is that that's the way I felt about them. Right. Because yeah. I always felt that nobody right. wanted to give them a chance. Right. right. And we stuff like that. So yeah, but that's all right. <laughs> but I but I'm depending on. But see, the thing is, is that even if you don't make it, I never gave you up on you. Now, yeah, you closed him up, I but think, I, I just I think it was other people that now, took I, I him think off that team. To be honest with you, it, it, it may have been one of those situations, like you said earlier, it may have been motivation for him because he became yeah. to be, to be want, damn want, good. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Became yeah. Be damn good. I want to see him play, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and like you said, that. piggybacking on what you said, it might have been a motivation factor for him. Sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man. He did yeah. all right. But I also but that's a part of the process. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and you can't keep make every fucking team. No, you, you can't, can't keep everybody. No, you can't. It's a part of the process. Yeah, like, yeah. but we did not going to be told. We, we didn't miss out. Not at that time. Not at that time. All right. No. A lot of people at that position. But they, but they, but at the same time, at the same time, it, 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 it was Charlie Moe's decision. Oh, 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 I no, keep no, kid. don't do that, phone. I want to keep it. Don't do that, phone. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. do that. And then they said, y'all there. They said, y'all, we got Chuck, the next walk. They said, y'all said, Chuck down there with his phone. No, we told Chuck to do it. <laughs> yeah, that was that. Chuck called the people at 1 o'clock in the morning. But Chuck ain't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. Chuck, Chuck went the there by his sleep. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Them people called me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. Somebody called me. Chuck, yeah. Chuck said, yeah. 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 They called me at 3 in the morning. I did ran into Kirk Smith somewhere to some party or somewhere he was at. And they said, man, you know what they did? <laughs> I said, it's 3 in the morning. He said, man, they cut Zion. I With said, they Zion. They yeah. did. He said, said what well, they did. I said, well, who did that? He said, Chuck called and, he said, Chuck called and said, Zion ain't no other part of the team. And I said, well, I said, well, and she said, yeah. And she said, I'm sitting right here at the party with Kirk, Kirk, Kirk Smith and all of them. We all in the same party together. And stuff. And I said, okay. But that's what, that's basically what it was. Though. But I began to understand. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not, definitely happy for him. I'm not really happy, happy man, to come in and yeah. a four-year scholarship. You know what I'm saying? You've a great tutelage over there. Yeah. The yeah. 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 We already knew yeah. that was going to happen. Yeah. But that, that's, that was that's funny, though. though. But you're right, though, Kirk. It, it could have been the motivating thing that he needed uh, to get better.
But a lot of times that's that's what happens. Yeah. Like you see situations where you watch T V and shit happens for everybody just like that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like every situation ain't for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Doug, I wanna ask you a question, man. Coming from runaway, you know what I'm saying, from the Wise area and all that, man, from the go from that environment and go to an Ivy League school, what, 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 what was the change, man? What, what did you see different from home and you up there with, you know? Different type of Negro. <laughs> different type of Negro? Yeah, it's different type of Negro, because, you know, you're talking about Negroes that come from Palo Alto, California, and, mm-hmm. and you know, I remember when I first got to Cornell, uh, I doubled back into the yeah. lunch line. Right. And they thought I was stealing <laughs> food. You know, but my mother I mean, had no money to send me to get extra food and stuff like that. So, yeah. I, you know, on the training table, I would double back or whatever, get something else to eat. But one thing I learned, and I had a great coach. Ben Blue probably was the best thing that ever happened to me because all the stuff that he tried to teach me, not just basketball, but about life in general. Mm-hmm. Because he knew he was from Chicago. So he already knew what it's like to be an inner city kid with a bunch of white people, right, right and an uppity black people. So he had to protect us. Yeah. You know, he had to protect us if he wanted us to so, stay there yeah, yeah. because, you know, it, it was just so much different because, see, there, there's a thing that, you know, when you look at some, some people and you say they can't balance a checkbook, right? But when you had Cornell or Harvard or Yale and one of them, when, they, when their parents that just send the money, you ain't never wrote a check in your life because all they did was just send. So you don't learn your skills that you need to be successful sometimes. Now, you might be successful in the classroom. But like you said, just plain old common sense stuff. Common sense. Right. Yeah, you know, they, they ain't got, I just call Life my mom. Skills. Yeah, I just call my mom. See, we, you know, we know how to go. I know how to come and say, man, I ain't got nowhere to stay tonight. Mm-hmm. You know, can I stay with you? Oh, blah, blah, blah. You say, yeah, come on. See, they don't have, the, they didn't have those type of people up there. You know, right. they didn't have those type of people. They don't like, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and if someone was up it because, you know, then it was the 70s. And you got to realize that, you know, Affirmative action was in play back then, so a lot of us got in based on our color, right. you know, and, and that's the truth. But we we also was good enough to be able to get there. Once to, to get yeah, to, once get and see that's the thing I had, and I'm glad you brought that up because that's my that's my thing against the SAT. See, it's not a true indication of what a person do if you give a chance. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to mm-hmm. give them a chance. A you can't tell mm-hmm. a kid that you know you go to school for 12 years and you make straight A's, but you can't. Get two guys on the SAT, you can't, you can't get in school. school. Yeah, I see, with you totally but see, on back that. then, he said he asked me how did I get in there. See, when I came out of high school, I I mean I was smart, but I just I was like anybody else. I went to take the SAT, man. I fell asleep in that moment, man. I think I made about six hundred, <laughs> six fifty, or Same. something like that. You know, yeah. I did too, like five times. Yeah, so I I, I only took it one time, <laughs> but the thing is that I, but back then you could get in a Merlin. Or or, or, or or Duke or where or, or school based on your potential, mm-hmm. so you can make three, you know, five or six hundred on the SAT. But right. they thought you had the potential to graduate. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they it. would do back then. That's how you see so many people to get. But, but, but see, see, you, you, see, you just gave a better explanation of yeah. the Prop Forty Eight situation right. back when they said getting the seven hundred or this and that. You know right. what I'm saying? And yeah. what you're saying right now, I didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I see that's why John Thompson and John Chain and them guys yeah, back then was see. going off yeah. about that prop. Right. About the prop yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because right now, you 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 telling probably a whole lot of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now, what people ain't even fucking know. Yeah. Never. Right. Especially yeah. back and in that see, time. And that's, and that's the seat. And that, yeah, yeah, and that, and that's the yeah. whole thing. You know, when you're talking about the educational part, and then you know, uh, uh, if you have an opportunity to succeed. I, you know, I should give you that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Now, when I start kicking you out is when I let you in and then you don't do what you're supposed to do. Right, right. See, and you got people like that. But, you know, then you got some schools like Cornell, them, they had a, a 2.5 policy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you had to maintain that anyway, even though the NCAA requirement was 2.5. Right, right. You know, Notre Dame and them like that, I think. Yeah, so a, they got that's that, no, 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 when I, the same thing with Drake. Yeah, see, so Drake, had their, Drake had their own rules. Because it's yeah. private school. You, you, yeah, you, private you, school. You, you can meet the NCAA requirements. Yeah, but you got your own requirements. But you, got, you got to meet their stay, stay in school. Just stay in school. Same way. Wow. Like nothing to do with sports. So it wasn't like the athletic staff could be like, 
Well, he got his two zero. Right. Nah. Yeah. He, he good. Eligible to play, but he he's good. not eligible uh, to stay in school. He's not, 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 not for them. Not for them. Uh, and you know see, that, and, that, and that's the I thing that I never uh, knew that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the thing tough. that uh, carried me. And I say about Ben Blue because he made me understand that it wasn't about basketball. You know. Mm -hmm. So when I got my first year up there, I got kicked out. See, a lot of people didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, they kicked me out because I didn't have a two point five. Cornell? Yeah, I had a 2 okay. but I had a 2.5. Right, right. So he called me down here and he just said to me, he said, look, man, you know, and Ben Blewett, there were only two black coaches in there, I believe, then yeah. Ben Blewett and, uh, and Sash Sam. He said, look, man, he said, your ass out of here. He said it just like that. I said, what you mean I'm out of here? He said, man, you didn't make the 2.5 to stay in, the, you know, mm -hmm. so you got to get your ass on a plane, come back up here and go to the board. School, no, board. go to the board. You got to yeah. talk to the, the academic board and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I went up there, man. They must uh, let me back in, but I had to take 18 credit hours. Yeah. I had to take 18 instead of the 15. Right. But I did it just to get back in and stuff. But see, that's the, the thing that some of these parents don't know about mm -hmm. things that y'all been through mm -hmm. and the things you try to tell them that has nothing to do with basketball. Right. Because, see, you know, if you're not guided by the right people, mm -hmm. see, and he knew that, you know, the promise that he made to me. Yeah. And a lot of people say, why are you end up at Cornell? I said, because the fact that the matter is, when they were trying to recruit me, you know, Duke gave me a, a, a partial scholarship. You know, <coughs> uh, uh, some <coughs> schools, you know, they never talked about education. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, knowing where I came from, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. You know, I said, I mm -hmm. want to give him a degree. Right. So the coach at Cornell just said, he said, look, man, uh, we was playing Duke freshman team. Yeah. And I must have had about I must have had about forty and stuff. And he was so the next day he was in an office in my in the administration office at my school and they said, Man, the coach from Cornell wants to talk to you. And I go down there and he told me he said, I'm gonna win with or without you. But I'd rather have you. He said, But you know, I can't promise you no know, NBA. He said, I'm gonna get that straight now. I ain't saying you're gonna go to the NBA. He said, But what I can promise you from this day on is you get you a degree from one of the best schools in the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he said, I stand on it. He said, he said, you can take my word and take that to the bank. Yeah. So when it came time to choose a school, mm -hmm. it was an easy choice for right. me because I didn't want to come back, you know, right. around y'all without no degree, especially at a school like Cornell. Yeah, that's good shit. You know, you see, because, percent. yeah, see, so the thing is, well, how can <coughs> I tell y'all about education? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's it almost like, how you going to tell me what, you know, right. you know, and see, the thing is that, Y'all looked up to me so much that see, I felt like I would let y'all down had I come back without a, a, a right. you know, right. a, a, a degree right. and all that. So to show, you know, in our neighborhood that we can get it mm -hmm. done if given the opportunity. Yeah. And I had a 600 on the SAT. Yeah. And I went through that mug and ended up getting two degrees up there, one in sociology and one in psychology. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it was, it was tough. It was, it was tough. But it was, and then you know the affirmative action. That's why when I see people like Clarence Thomas, you know, who was kind of around at, at, at Yale mm -hmm. when I was in school, right? He was a couple years ahead of me. Mm -hmm. But when they say that you know they didn't go to school on affirmative action, you know, you lying. You lying because see the state money requires that you give school money based on their what type of people they got in the school. <clears throat> so if you ain't got no blacks in there, the state's gonna be whole funds from you. Right. If you ain't got no mixed, uh, uh, you know, uh, adverse type of campus, they'll take their money from you. So when they sit there, and you hit them back in the 60s and 70s, talking about, man, I got in because of my grades and all that, they ain't the only reason why you got in. Right. See, yeah. because some of them state schools, they take the money. Which is, it just like, like you explained, there's a lot of people don't even know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, the mm -hmm. shit you just said, you know what yeah. I'm saying? A lot, of, a lot of people getting away with a lot of shit, being successful off of just simple shit that people don't even know that right. you that, yeah. that, that that the opportunity is there for you to do this, to have this and to get yeah. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. think that shit becomes overrated sometimes. Yeah, share it. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They hide it because because yeah. in fact they don't want us as people like yourself to to know about it for one, because you know about it you can become successful. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Su 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 successful to some want, people. They don't want the masses to have that same. Exactly. Success from yeah. our demographic. Right. Successful right. can sometimes be selfish <clears throat> in a certain way. You know, a lot of people don't want. A lot of people want to see you the way you are. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. want to put you in their shoes to get you better, mm -hmm. because then it's like you don't need them no more. 
Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, they and they, they and they really respect you really because to the fact that they say, man, if I give Chase his opportunity to do what I'm doing, he gonna run with this shit. I'm yeah. not gonna be here no more. He, he, yeah. he gonna be a better person than me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He, he, gonna, he, my job. he gonna share the wealth with me exactly. with people what I'm exactly. not doing. Yeah. And I'm gonna be I'm so gonna be so I got I, I got to keep him at bay because yeah. I don't want him to be yeah. better than me. That's how it works. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's and, how it works. And, and, and it's fucked up. <laughs> Not everybody. Yeah. Well, no, it's no, it's like, definitely not everybody. Yeah, it's but like it's, it's, no, it's, majority it's, good, it's the majority now. It's, 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 it's the majority. It's the majority, though. Fuck, that's not yeah, everybody. It's, 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 the majority, yeah. it's the majority. Not better. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the majority. But you know and what? That's and what's and, and up. it's yeah. a good thing that you brought that up because, see, yeah. yeah. here's the thing about this whole situation. And I always knew that y'all were smarter than just basketball. See, there's another thing about being an athlete. See, they think all you know is sports. Mm-hmm. That's all you know. But see, when you start talking politics, you start talking yeah. business, you start yeah. talking this type of stuff, yeah. see, they run the other way. Because, see, when I used to go to those little functions and stuff, that's what they want to talk to all the alumni mm-hmm. I want to talk about. What do you think about the basketball game? Yeah. I mean, let's talk politics. Right. I can talk politics yeah, with you, too. They don't want to do you know, and, and the yeah. thing is that, like you were saying, even in, in situations like this, that, you know, sometimes there's no substitute for research. Mm-hmm. See, and I tell people that all the time, man, don't believe everything somebody tell you. Mm-hmm. You know, you research it. So why why would you be a Muslim and you don't <laughs> research what it is that you're going to be? Exactly. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Why would you be something that you don't, you don't have no idea? Why would I sit there and stop eating and I'm trying to lose weight? And I just tell you, man, you just need to stop eating. You be dead, <laughs> you know. But you, you know, if you ain't got no, you know. But you see what I'm saying, though, man. But, Bartender. But when you, but when you, but when you sitting around like this because everything is focused on the sport yeah. part, yeah. they forget you, you. You you forget that these right. these guys have been through, and they see it, yeah. and they know it. They might, and, and just because you don't have a degree, right. don't mean you don't know. Yeah, that See, and that, and that, and that's the whole thing, man. And I and I and I tell people that all the time, man. Success is only measured by the distance you travel. Yeah. It ain't about what you got. And it's funny because so majority of us went to white universities. I, mm-hmm. I went to a motherfucking paper plate white oh, yeah. <laughs> white so, university. No, yeah, I was <laughs> sitting out, man. I, I had a and tennis class. Uh, students. It was just an elective, a tennis class. So it was like, well, we're gonna put you on the tennis team. You know, my uncle Petey told me tennis at a young age. I was playing, yeah. and they started coming back to me. He was like, we're going to get you to play tennis. I'm not, I'm not here for no tennis. But I played, you know, and yeah. I was watching, and I was like, hey, I'm light-skinned, but I'm the only brother out this joint. Yeah, you, you look like you play tennis, though, Mark. <laughs> good, man. It's a good thing. <laughs> John McEnroe looking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But that, but that that's slug. Yeah. But I think that's the problem, though, especially in, our, in, in y'all time or right now, hey, is that sometimes they, try, they think that that's all y'all really know. You know, and see, yeah. that's why you got you got that's your guy. value. But, yeah. but, but you introduced to basketball a lot of stuff, or whatever man. sport you play separates you from the academics. So yeah. they look at you that as if that that's your only value. Right. You're only here for whatever sport, sport you, you play. play. Until yeah. they meet you, they, until they meet you, and until you actually, I ain't gonna say catch up to speed, but until you can, I okay. He actually knows what he's talking about in the classroom. He's actually getting good grades. Right, Other yeah. than that, you just yeah. a face of whatever athletic pro, uh, sports you play right. or whatever the case may be. So that's your separation from them, and right. that's where they look at you like, oh, okay, yeah. we can kind of accept yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Until yeah. you show them that I can do what the fuck y'all doing. Yeah. Until, you, until you get you that motherfucking bomb. <laughs> right off campus. Everything on you, Mickey. And get a knock in the motherfucking head with them yeah. damn crackers. Yeah, 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 shit. Need some wings, Mickey. Uh, yeah. but, that's, that's, yeah. that, but that's how it works, yeah, though. Yeah, like, yeah, that's your nah, separation. Nah, if, you separation just a, yeah. if you just a regular individual or a person of color at a lot of these white universities, you just. You, uh, you are outcast, right. unless you, and, and your yeah. separation is whatever sports you play. Kenny right. Blake, me, my motherfucking yeah. man. But you know, yeah. I got me champ. Yeah. It's, it's Duke it's, University. It's man. on Stretch Jones, man. We got, we got, we got to get you on the show one night, man. You yeah. got a lot to talk about, Stretch. All met. Oklahoma. Yeah. All that. All America. That's, that's the that's the whole thing, though, man. Is just you know <laughs> they think that's all we know. 
And that's all we nah, that's, that's what we, yeah. you know, that most of them do. It's funny, like man. you say, until you get to the point that, you know, when they start getting you one on one, they say, yep. uh, they walk away, they say, wait, wait a minute. You know, so you know, that is crazy. He, he, he know, he's not crazy. Yeah. Man, but see, the thing is, very is, intellectual, you know, whatever yeah. the case, he can articulate yeah. himself or whatever. They they just think, regardless, like you are up to no good. You got a bad attitude. Exactly. Where you from? You got a bad attitude. It's, 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 it's a prejudice, regardless, before you even lot, speak man. one word. But another thing you got to think about when you go to the, the major university, them, 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 you know, them white universities. You know what I'm saying? You get the a lot of a lot of students. You know what I'm saying? A lot of your mother classmates. It don't. That's all they know. Though. It don't be them. Yeah. Right. It's their parents installing yeah. that shit in yeah. them. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then once they get to seeing you and hang, man, that that's why a lot. Of, yeah. That's why a lot of the kids in college get turned out so crazy mm -hmm. because they been so sheltered. Because they been so sheltered and been, and, and been so taught the wrong way. Like like in don't small, go, don't you go up there and be fucking the black people. They, yeah. in, the, they in the yeah. small they go up there and when and, 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 and you explain your setting, they cool. What the yeah. fuck y'all talking about? Exactly. Yeah. It, it's a small yeah. bubble yeah. that yeah. they're in. But at the same time, we grew up in a small bubble to the point where, like, even for me, it ain't had nothing to do with the work. I was just culture shocked when I went down that month. It was just all white people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to nobody. I just felt intimidated because yeah. I never went to school with a white person. Yeah. Right. Right. So you go to class and you're in a class of 500 people and you're the only black person in there. Right. And you're right. looking at it like, Every time they ask a question or whatever the case may be, like I know the answer, yeah, yeah. but I don't want. How was your, how was your, how was your first experience with, with, with a white chick? Oh shit! <laughs> what was you talking about? <laughs> Come on, Dougie, keep yeah, yeah, that knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man, yeah, keep kicking it, knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's, it, you know, it, 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 oh, it, man, it, man, I, I, I was, I was <laughs> Becky. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Dougie, keep talking, man. Yeah, but yeah, that, but that's, oh, that's, that's Lonnie, right. Hey, Lonnie Baxter, you right. Yeah, you right, Lonnie. <laughs> man, yeah, you right. Man. You right, Lonnie B. Yeah. <laughs> but that, but that, but that, though, man, that, that's, that's a lesson, man, because that's a profound statement because I remember, man, when I, I had this white friend up at Cornell, and they ain't never had no black man, period, right. in, their, in, their, in their house or nothing. Right. Wow. But I was, I was up there... She was my classmate, and mm -hmm. we were just good friends and stuff. So she invited me to go home with her, just for the for the oh, holidays. Get out! Get out! Uh, no, good uh, friends. No, get out! Hey, she, good but, friends. Uh, no, but, no, but I'm trying to talk, talk some real talk because you know I thought you know I seen guess who coming to dinner, right? You ever yeah. seen that? But Sydney Porter, yeah, yeah. But see, I really lived it. Guess who coming to dinner? Because when she took me up to Syracuse, up near Syracuse, where she lived at, just to, so I wouldn't be, you know, on yeah. the campus or something. Man, her family looking at me like they were crazy, like I was, you know, like you know. And I'm sitting yeah. around the table, man, and I'm trying to, you know, yeah. be sociable and be right. But it was, a, it's, it was it's, uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. Very feeling. uncomfortable. Yeah. You and feel like every you feel like they they was just yeah. looking they was looking but, through you. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was looking but she at was, you. But yeah. she was willing to, 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 to make the change. Yeah. But she had warned me that her parents weren't there yet. You're right. And stuff like that. But I went for the experience. Yeah. Because I know I seen guess who coming to dinner with right. Sydney Port yeah. A. But now I wanted to see what this thing about. And that's why I say sometimes, man, if it's not a dangerous situation, yeah. it's okay for you to adventure. See, I, 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 I was a little lucky, man. Because of Georgetown, you know, they kept you locked. Yeah. They knew everything you was like, doing. You yeah. know, I was dealing mostly with the sisters. You know, a couple yeah. white people in your class was cool. But when I went to Wake, it was, you know, it's yeah. all white. But they took you in with open arms, man. Like, yeah. you coming here yeah. or what? You know, it was totally different. Like, we got tutors set up for you. Got this lady gonna look out for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, nothing illegal, yeah. but just making sure that you come. And and I, I had and to. And I understood yeah, that, man. Exactly. It was like, you know, damn, man, I got some cookies at my door. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> at first, I, I, at yeah. first, I didn't accept it. Right, I accepted it right I didn't, away. I didn't, I ain't, I ain't, yeah, yeah. I ain't accept it right away. Yeah. Like, but I was you, just I like, knew nah. Where the people was coming from. See, I had a chance to talk to Randolph and Tucker. They was like, man, don't believe none of that stuff. Said these people gonna love you down. No, I, I ain't accept it. Yeah. See, first, I accepted it right away. And once I started to accept where I, I never was, never had a problem. Once I started to accept where I was, never, that's when man. college became.
college for me and I started to actually enjoy myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And we wasn't yeah. losing, so I ain't had no problems here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Losing yeah. might have been different. All yeah. sense in the world. But Jay-Z. it was just, man, it was love down there. It was like, you know, so I was like, when I went on my visit, I told him, I just sent my clothes. Yeah. But see, it, but that 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 epitomized what I was yeah. talking about success, though. Yeah. See, because you look where you came from and you look where you at, not what you had. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, just to get out of the neighborhood. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Just to get out of there to see mm-hmm. something different. Yeah. But the fact of the matter, you end up where you end up at, right. and people won't call it success because your basketball career didn't turn out. Right. But I call it success because I never felt that you had to have it. Because we never, you know, you know, when we come up, we ain't have everything. Nothing. You know, we kind of, you know, yeah. depending on one another yeah. for everything. But see, says, you know, that's why I say success is measured by how far you come. Yeah. See, not not all the things you have. You have. I know people with cars and money and everything, and, and they ain't not happy. Yeah. And they ain't happy at all. Right. So, but once you find that 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 you know that you know you you did what you had to do to get to where yep. you where you are, that's a good feeling. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, you look know, yourself in the mirror. Yeah, you look. Yeah, you can look yourself in the mirror, man. But that's what makes me. Cause when 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 I think about all those <coughs> guys that was down there with y'all, I mean, that's what makes me yeah. realize, you know, that yeah. that was a successful camp that we had. Mm-hmm. Cause y'all 11, 12 years old, you installing stuff in people that you hope yeah. that last, and now y'all forty five and you know stuff like that, it and it's still, you know, it, you know that thirty years ago, over 30, 40 years ago, and it's still. Uh, to see y'all really take that stuff at heart and and, and yeah. do the things that y'all do, you know, I don't look at, I don't care if you if I see you walking, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you that know was, that um, was the best, man. But that, you know, that's, y'all that's did learn how, shit, you know. And the one nah, thing I learned best, is uh is taking ownership yep. from you all. You know, that's what I learned from you all because see, when you when you when you get out there with drugs and alcohol like I did, see, some people say I heard people say, you know, some people get what they deserve. You know, I mean, that's the street talking. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know the game. You know, mm-hmm. you know. And then you know, you hear people say, "Well, you know, man, so and so got killed." And then people say, "Man, well, you know, he got what he deserved, or she got what she deserved." But for me, you know, uh, y'all always made me feel like that. You know, I, that I was cheering for me to get well again. You know, because when you when you when you see in the people's lives, see that's what comes back. See, if you ain't never seen it in nobody's life, you can't expect to get nothing back mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But I learned ownership from you all, too, because, mm-hmm. see, the thing is, is now, how can I conf- confront y'all if I'm out there getting high again? Right. You know what I'm saying? You, that's not a mistake anymore. Yeah. See, you know, and see, and, and that, see, the thing is, Kurt, I understand you, why you, you try to hold people accountable. Mm-hmm. See, you say, I don't hear that. Man, go on with that, that, that nonsense because, see, I tell people all the time, see, a mistake is when you wake up and you put one black sock on and one blue sock on. Thinking you put two black socks on, you get outside, you say, man, I got a big smash sock on. That's a mistake. Yeah, right. yeah. Me going back on drugs can't yeah, be no mistake. Ain't no mistake. Yeah. Ain't no mistake. Mm-hmm. That's something because, you want to do. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's if you say, yeah, so if you say, mm-hmm. they say, well, Ducky, OD. Then you know, you know, you might say, well, you know, he got what he deserved because he know he shouldn't have been back out there again. Mm-hmm. You know, so I've heard that 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 conversation, man, time and time again, and people don't understand that the basketball is just a small part, you know, yeah. of what we do. Yeah. See what? See, this not who you are. See, that's why I don't look at it like the way they look at it. You know, because that you know, it's it's like with Curtis Malone. Mm-hmm. That's not that's not that's what he do. See, people and I told Curtis one time. I said, Curtis, don't never let people confuse with what you do with who you are. See, Curtis, you've always and both of y'all have always looked out for me. Mm-hmm. You know, you always so so. I don't. That's why I don't confuse that other stuff with who you are because <laughs> when they start talking about, it, I know the heart. See, it's a matter of the heart. And when people know about the matter of the heart, things you know, you have a different perspective on things. Yeah. See, so it, it, it's nothing wrong with Kurt. Yeah, he might got some messed up ways sometimes. <laughs> this and that. You know, but my, but I, I look at you know the relationship we done had over you know, the years. You know I, I mean, know, yeah. I know. And so when he's that stuff used to bother me because this man gone, man. I don't want to. I'm not talking to you right now. That stuff used to bother me, man. But see, I know that he always y'all always pull for me. Yeah. And everybody don't always do that. And Melvin was the same way. And that's why I said, like you say, it was more deeper for us 
than just a basketball thing. You know, just a basketball camp. That was just the start of it. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, when you look at the success that y'all had over the years, you know, mm -hmm. and, and everybody didn't get a chance to go to the NBA or try right. for the NBA and this and that. But, you know, that's not to say that you weren't successful. Right. That, that, that's funny you say that because I always said, um, you know, the one thing that my theory is, is, is about a lot of shit that I've been through, you know what I'm saying, as far as like, because people, people always use that term, you ain't make it. Yeah. So I disagree with that yeah. because, you know, I, I always say, I mean, you, you look you look at the guys, you look at the people in general who, 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 who made it as far as like to the league and stuff like that, the NFL yeah. and stuff like that. And to me, to be honest with you, it'd be majority of them be some fucked up people in heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they forget where they yeah. came, they came from. from. Right. Yeah. So yeah. so my whole thing is I kinda look at that shit like it's is it contagious? So then you think back and say, Well damn, yeah. if I was in that situation, would I be fucked up like them yeah. and not give back to my people? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Would yeah. I could get where I came from because yeah. I got some money? I got one. I got you know what I'm saying? So it's a flip side to it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Then, then you got, then you got to say like, you know, I look at, I look at yourself, Stacey Rob, Michael Graham, yeah. you know what I'm saying. First of all, I appreciate all y'all for coming on our show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause people need to hear all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what I'm saying is, just turn the table and say, man, if you all would have been what everybody expects y'all to be as far as like in the league and all this, I mean, you never know how. It would have turned yeah, out yeah, yeah. off the court, yeah. and then you wouldn't have this knowledge to yeah. talk about. Right. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, yeah. for me, I mean, I've had my uncle playing the league, my brother, all yeah. this. So, so I can kind of get it from their perspective. Yeah, and I'm saying, as far as myself, <laughs> who knows what would happen? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it's a fast life. It's a fast life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. You yeah. never know what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to sit in situations and be able to tell people what the fuck is really going on or what really happened, right. yeah. that's success to me. Yeah. 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 Because everybody don't get that opportunity. Everybody. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. 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 right now. You, you know, that, that's, 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 that's just to get a trial. You said that a couple weeks ago. Yeah. That's just how I feel yeah. about yeah. the situation. Yeah. I, say that I, 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 I just be child when people say, you know, Certain people ain't make it. Yeah. Make what though? Yeah. You what you make? Yeah. But yeah, but then exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you say that a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, that, 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 that's just crazy. And that's you know what I'm saying. And it's the majority of people that say that are the people that ain't never did nothing no way. You know. No, give me, me your fans. That, yeah, but you know, but you know who you did for us when we was coming up. This when you was a baby though, almost was fat. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I learned all my stuff. You know, just about everything I learned as far as, like, giving back came from your uncle. Because Fatty got us the jobs in the uh, Walter Wa uh, Mayor Washington program. It was Fatty was our boss. He mm -hmm. would come home in the summertime, and he'd make sure all the <coughs> kids right. down there in the projects and watch yeah. had a job. Wow. So, you know, his thing was more than just, and that's why I say you don't know people's heart. Yeah, because yeah. see, you don't ask, you know, you don't, you know, you, you don't know if you don't ask. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. nobody knew that Fatty did that. But if you ask anybody that was coming up with me, Tony and all of us, yeah. ask him who gave him the first job. He gonna tell you Fatty. That's what's Fatty was out. But, but the shit so crazy. Going back to what we talked about about the free camp. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. yeah. The camp you was giving back then to us, the knowledge and the, and the oh man. all that. Do you know right now that Dougie Vaughn will, will be a millionaire right now? Mm -hmm. Meaning, yeah, right now, it, yeah, I'm yeah. meaning yeah. Yeah. doing what they yeah. doing now. Yeah, all get, get, it, right now, all, all about the money. Yeah. The cap, the cap that he threw for us back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. The this real talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm the the cap yeah. he threw us back in the day. Yeah, First of all, first of all, you don't see it. You don't see it these days no more. Anyway, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the teaching part of it, you don't see that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying in general. I mean. All the kids that he had in the camp, him and Melvin yeah. in the camp. We had to move yeah, And right now, right now, right now, right now today, they charging three, four hundred a week. Mm -hmm. Free. Per child. Yeah. And, and we, we had to every And we doing this shit 
free. And we free crabs every Friday. And you free lunch. That's it. Yeah. You, I mean, you free and everything. Lunch during the week. We, every yeah. Friday, yeah. crabs. Yeah. That, 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 that's heart and passion, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You and still get you that. we had to move it to watch because, yeah. you know, Melvin and we used yeah. yeah. It was a smaller venue. Yeah. So, so watch was a bigger venue. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, was overflow. Too many kids. It was overflow. Yeah. Yeah, because Melvin only had the two courts right there. Right, right, right. They had to put courts on the side. Yeah. Just, just do the yeah, stations real good. Yeah. 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 And but, if you think about it, what are we teaching, teaching the game? Yeah. Been around older people. You know what I'm saying? All that percentage wise, how, how, what, what, what is the percentage you would say of the coaches that's in the area that is actually trying to teach the game of basketball to, to, to kids? Right now, today? Yeah. Percentage. Instead of just trying to win. Yeah, like I'm teaching trying the to get the best kids or whatever. Like I'm really out here teaching the game of basketball. I mean, out of the respect of the game. High school level or? High school. High school, school Obviously. Because junior high school, you you talented as a motherfucker, like, for whatever age it is. Like, you just kind of honing your talent. But, but, but see, once you get to high school, that wh whoever your high school coach is should be preparing you for college. Yeah. But, From a mental standpoint, a basketball standpoint, a I teaching agree. standpoint. So, I can only speak, I'm only saying from a high school high standpoint. School. It's, it's a very low percentage, man. But how many guys on the level of a Ducky Vaughn and are actually the ones doing it? You know, that's a good point you because know, normally it's I noticed that, that, you know, when the, the hiring the hiring of the coaches. It's a little tricky. It, it, it's more than tricky. Yeah. Because yeah. some of these coaches, I don't even know how they got a job <laughs> and stuff like that. Because they, 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 you know, they, they, they work in the school. In the school. And I thought that was one of the worst rules <coughs> they could have made. <coughs> yeah. they did, what, what's the name? Yeah. They put down uh, said you had to be. Because, yeah. you know, when I coached Duval, you know, that's how I lost a job and he could win a championship with the team I had. Right. You know, Jackson, Steve Kirk. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, at Duval, uh, my first year up there, we was. They were so bad. They called. They came and asked me would I coach the team. I coached the team. They went eight and eight. Almost made the playoffs. You know, they let everybody go to the playoffs then. Yeah. You know, and remember, because I was trying to get you to come down to Duval. I was trying to get him and Kirk and, and Curtis Malone and all of that come down Duval. But, but the next year they gave it to the dude from Potomac because he was in the school system and I wasn't. And they came called me in and said, Well, look, man, we're going. You know, if he wanted. Yeah, if he want, but see, PG County had changed the rules. Yeah. See, but the thing is, and I think that was a terrible rule because you got coaches, like you say, that don't teach the game. But, you know, if you're going to coach, then you need to know somebody who can get your kids in school. Yeah. You know, I mean, you got somebody. That's you, can't, you, you, know, yeah, you don't have nobody right. that can call a coach and say, I got a kid I need you to come and take a look at. Mm -hmm. And they hang the phone up on you. You, and when you know the percentage, like you said, I, I, I probably can give a percentage. I can probably <coughs> name some coaches that from I that I think that you know that I know that's in it to get to get them cool. kids to the to the next level. Cool. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean I, I gotta top of my list gotta be Berg from, from Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. He helps. I mean he he yeah. Berg out yeah. there. He takes that shit, sir. Berg yeah. was talking when I was Berg takes that yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, he put a because when I was Berg high, takes yeah. it, he, he takes it to a whole level. Yeah. And, and and the one thing yeah. the one thing that I respect about Berg is all his ex players show him love. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Oh see so you know you know how we get older. Right. So once we get like I got nephews, once I get to be in the spots where they be at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once they can be, they grown and they yeah. can just have a drink or do whatever they like, do. It don't matter. What, what you need, huh? Every whenever man bird in a setting like that, yeah. Every kid that come in that play with with his team or play in high school, they they show him nothing but love. Cause they show them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and yeah. that's the one that that that's I know for sure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That mm -hmm. he's in it for them kids to go yeah. to the next yeah. level. Yeah. To get in school. It's yeah. not for him to get. It's not for him. It's yeah. I mean, yeah. for, for what? He love what he do. That. That's what yeah. I'm saying. He love what he do. He yeah. he he, he love what he do. And you got Malcolm, Malcolm and Charlie Moore the same way. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put their, put their passion into Rob it. Gunner. You know what I'm saying? Rob Gunner. Um, Rob Gunner from Wise. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think of what's the name? Them Lafayette and uh, and um, and uh, Raymond Brewer over at, uh, over at, uh, who y'all play? Uh, oh, very good, Marshall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, see, that, and when you talk about coaches, see, that's oh, what yeah, I look at. Real, man. See, I, I, I look that, at that because y'all, yeah, that's there. That's a good. But staff. I looked at that game because, see, 
Y'all don't have the type of talent that they had. Yeah. That, that most of the other schools have. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like the WCAC <laughs> and all. But every year, y'all and third grade are, are, are right there, knocking on the door. Yeah. I don't know that staff, Leon. One, one or two. I know players. you. I don't know them. That's why I can't understand that. When they trying to find a school for their kids, and I, and I tell them this, I say pick a coach. You know, don't always pick. A, don't always pick the school. Pick yeah. a coach. Don't go to DeMatha just because it's DeMatha. You, you might not even play at DeMatha. You know, pick a coach. So if I'm going to go somewhere, if I know that Kirk yeah. or you or Chase, if I know, I, I, they, they got my back. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you got these guys, especially yeah, when they go to college. Man. They go to college, they pick a college, you know, like a Wisconsin, like a Merlin. You know, instead of picking a school like Towson or like mm -hmm. uh, 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 Delaware or somewhere go, go, like that. Go, go where you need to but, go at. But Kurt, but, 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 but see, y'all at y'all at y'all at Delaware, you at Towson, yeah. and you might be at, at, at UDC. You know, but what I'm saying, I'm here. I'm gonna pick Maryland, and I ain't gonna get off the bench. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. But the, but I know y'all. all the time. I, I know y'all. Right. I know y'all, and I know that's what y'all gonna do thing, this man. and that. And that's where a lot of kids don't succeed mm -hmm. at the next level. Because see, they want see, the name. Yeah, right. potential without performance. They want the level, yeah, exactly. So, potential without performance. They want the name yeah. of the school. Just a lot to say, of I people are yeah. at Merlin. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't as opposed think to find the right the situation kid for all them. The time. It's not always yeah. the kid. The, the kid, the one got to play. Yeah. Right. You got parents and handlers just guiding them this way. The kid, the one got to go to school. Mm -hmm. He got to mm -hmm. play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people be like, man, I'm going to Towson. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not. That's how it is. Yeah. Like, if it, we it, tell it, somebody it, we going because, somewhere, see, you got to think because, because whoever made a decision for them, they want to make the they, they they want they want the glory. Yeah, they yeah. They, they want the press yeah. conference. I got this yeah. kid. They wanted that's my kid. Yeah. He went here, yeah, they, they but he shit. fucked it up. Because yeah. once it, if, if it don't you work, know what I'm then yeah, yeah if but it see, don't. But the thing is, is, is you have all the potential in the world, but if you can't perform it, you ain't no good. Right. You ain't get on. You got to get on the court. <laughs> so you should have been playing good. I'm going to get somebody yeah. else. They're going to recruit all of you. They're going to recruit all of you. See, and you know, I'm glad you brought this up, Kurt, because see, that's the thing about this recruiting thing that people don't understand. See, sometimes when you when you look and see somebody on the bench, right, you see somebody on the bench, and you know they was good here, but this ain't a recruiting area for them. Mm -hmm. So they don't have an obligation to play you because we don't recruit down there. No way. We just stole mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. We just told you. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to tell the parents, look, I want to send them there. Mm -hmm. I want to send them there. They're thinking, oh, man, you just hate them. Yep. You don't want them to go there. Mm -hmm. No, I'm trying to tell you why it's not a good thing for them to go there. Right. Because mm -hmm. if you're not recruiting in this area, you don't have any recruiting in this area, then I, you know, I'm going to play the ones in the area that I recruit. So when I go back there, they got somebody. They wasn't that. Agreed. They agreed, you know. Yeah. So the thing is, when you try to tell parents, and that's what I say about what y'all do, it's just so difficult now. Mm -hmm. You know, because, see, the thing is that they got to understand that you know more than just about basketball. You're talking about academics. You're talking about everything. Right. You're talking about you ask a kid what he want to be, what type of school mm -hmm. he going to go to, you know, do you fit. And then here's the other thing. Just because they took you at Carolina, right, and took you at Morgan, Good. Don't mean he was a better basketball no, player. No, 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 no. See, you know, and see, that means that you might fit the program better or fit what they do better, you know. And see, and that's what kids don't understand. Oh man, that's our dude. Man, he mm -hmm. ended up going to Carolina. He ended up going to right. Wake Forest. He kids ended, choose schools yeah. for the level. Yeah, and but just coaches, because they think they're gonna be on TV yeah. or see, see, that's another thing. Whatever. Yeah. Carolina see, that's, that's, that's nothing yeah. to do with anything. Yeah. That, that, that's another thing. I don't think that's always good, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I think, I think we had this conversation before, a while back, you know what I'm saying? We were talking about the, the local schools that we have, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like the, the, the Howards and all that. Yeah. And I just think back, man, just going to my Uncle Rodney games with Howard. Right. They had a mob. Sure you know what I'm saying? Larry Spriggs and all them dudes, right. man. Yeah, James Ratchet. Yeah. And I'm just going to be watch. And all them guys was, was, was and I, them motherfuckers was bad right. motherfuckers. Yeah. People went to any major university. Mm -hmm. And... Just my situation, like, as far as, like, my point I'm trying to make, take a guy like Ducky Vaughn. Mm -hmm. You get a, a Howard University job right now. And there's no disrespect to Nick yeah. Nickelberry and yeah. Travis and them guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but you know, they, they keep passing down kids that think they not good enough to play for Howard and all that. Yeah. That's bullshit to me. Yeah. 
give Dougie Vaughn a motherfucking Howard University job. Major black university, Division One. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I know one thing Dougie Vaughn gonna do is go after all them <laughs> bad motherfucking <laughs> All-Americans yeah. and sell the program to them because, for one, like you always say, if you can play, they're going to find you. They're going to find yeah. you. Yeah. And not only that, if you, can, if, 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 if you motherfucking top ten the country, yeah. college decisions don't mean a lot. No, I don't. You can go to high so 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 my whole thing so my whole thing is just going back with Dougie history I, and I know I know how well he communicate and know how to get motherfuckers better and all that and then with a with a with a Cornell University yeah. background yeah I mean to go to a, 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 a who else? I mean I don't know these kids names no more as far as like right yeah. now yeah just go to the top a top seven or six all right. Motherfuckers in in that area, you yeah. grab you grab like three of them yeah. to get to believe and buy in. Right, that's all you need. To your yeah. program, that's all you need. Because because after that, everybody, everybody gonna follow. Everybody follow. Everybody follow. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing you can do, you, you definitely gonna get to the turn. Everything is trending. And then if you already if they projected yeah. one or two and done, me yeah. personally, yeah. I, how, how would it be? Like the it. shit of the motherfucking yeah, whole yeah, NCAA. Yeah, yeah. 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 and first, you was locked down. No, that's first of all. That's first of all. That's how you do it, though. It's, it's a lot it's, going it's, on. It's, 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 it's the ones that you bring along with you. Right. See, so you can't, yeah, you know, you got to be good. So it's mad to see you dirty. What's up, Charlie? If I hire, you my hiring got to be. No, you got to be compatible to what it is we trying to do. So I can't just go get somebody from California because he's my buddy in California and, and think I'm going to bring him to D.C. and get the D.C. kid. Nah. You know, don't I'm work not, like that. It don't work like that. Don't work but like the that. Thing is, see, that's my problem with it. You know, now some of us get these jobs and then we screw them up. Mm-hmm. But the ones that you really, and I'm talking about, you know, these high school jobs because that's where it starts. Because yeah. if, they, if they'd have had y'all in the high school, Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah, and had had y'all coaching, where y'all had the contact with these kids and can place these kids in different schools. Mm-hmm. Then it would be different. See, half these kids don't get to go nowhere because the coaches don't know nobody to call to come and get them. Now you got to throw them and have a little thing like he had up there at Coolidge, mm-hmm. just to get them this, this, this just see, to see, just, just to get recognized. Yeah. And it wasn't it wasn't like that, at, at, you know, at first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what happened to that? So you know, the WCAC could have stole all of them. They yeah. might have got most of them, but they could because you got enough leftovers, mm-hmm. like you said, that if you know where to look, you could build a program. You, you, mm-hmm. you, you could build a program, mm-hmm. and anybody anybody got common sense know that in DC you you can find all the gods and fools you want. You ain't gonna find no big man in We're DC. Right. I'm talking so, the day like Eddie saw. He had about 300 coaches at one game. Speedy Jones. Remember that? Yeah. And they saw Summer League. Oh, yeah? Man, man the, the whole gym packed with coaches. Yeah. After you come back from Nike camp. Change the rules with that, though. Yeah, they yeah. changed the rules with that. They changed the rules with that. And, 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 and that goes yeah. back to what you were saying, because yeah. see, once you get in the know, and they want to cut the AAU stuff out, because, see, you know, you don't yeah. get recruited by your high school no more. Yeah. You get recruited right. by that's what you crazy. do in the AAU. Yeah, that's it. So, mm-hmm. you know, so that's now, it. you know, that intent. And that's why when I saw, I don't know if y'all saw that, uh, one and not done with John Calhoun. Oh, yeah, 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 I, 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 I love that shit. Man, I realize now why he now. did what he did. See, at first we can say that. And you a whole number of respect for John Calhoun. For John Calhoun. Yes, because, see, yeah. when, he, when he got to the boy, uh, 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 DeWan Wagner, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. that changed it for me. Man, get the yeah. fuck out that, of here. That, that changed it for me, you know, because he said, I came down the hallway and tore up his scholarship. And say you getting out of here, man. You yeah, get the top, you get top five pick yeah. and stuff like that. But then the boy get colitis, and they Still at twenty one years out. old, mm-hmm. and he made about seven eight million dollars. Mm-hmm. But like mm-hmm. you said, what would he have done if he stayed at, at, at Memphis? He'd, He'd, done. Yeah. He'd have been messed up. Yeah. Been so up. You, you begin on it. But that goes back to saying that he can, yeah. he can, he can do that. Mm-hmm. Him taking and the money. And they don't say. And they don't. And they. And they he with But if you did that, it'd be different story. It'd be different story. You wouldn't have a job. Nah, at all. You wouldn't nah. have a job. Right right black because, you know, mm-hmm. you get black because all other coaches get mad at you, man. Right. All, yeah, and they already mad at him, but they can't do nothing to him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, they can't do nothing to him. They done done that. That. So all he, did, all he did was took the rules that y'all made and played them. And played them. 
That's it. You know, and, and see, we try to do something like that. We a bad guy. And see, double the investigation. Then, 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 if that would have been Tom Bozeman, it would have been fucked up. Oh, yeah, he would have been fucked up. It would have been fucked up. Because, you know, even when Todd got that job at uh, Cal, yeah. you know, it was after him from the job. Because, yeah. you know, and I had read somewhere where they said my man at Carolina, Roy Williams, you know, you know, they was with Capanelli. Yeah, Capanelli. Yeah, all of them, was, they, was, they yeah. were board buddies. And they said they yeah. tried to make a thing like Todd started a... a, 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 a they get them out of there. Get them out of there and all oh, that they, stuff. They, 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 yeah, they, 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 they yeah. tried. That's when they had Jason Kidd and all of them. They just yeah. yeah. But, 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 but see, but see, it was with Todd Bowles and Jason Kidd when they went to Cap. Right. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. A lot of people don't know that part. No. Right. You see what I'm saying? But he don't get no credit but for that's that. Why, but that's why uh, they was that's mad at him because they said but he, I ain't he was the one that did the, uh, he, he recruited all the California kids. One of the kids should just shut up. Kid from Atlanta. Not the good kid, uh, oh, Abdul. Yeah, yeah. But the other one, yeah, I know he's Eddie Swells. Gone. Yeah, yeah gone. He should have just shut up. He should have just shut up. Oh, Jelani. He, 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 he wasn't even that good. Yeah, yeah, and that's what they were saying. But That's it, probably it, why he didn't shut up, because he wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah they didn't try to bring his name down. Yeah. This guy be a major that, that D1 coach. That's true, Bill J, right brother. No bullshit. Yeah. He be a major D1 coach for, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. We gotta get that bag together there, yeah, you know, yeah, Jay. You need up. that bag. I got yeah. a few for you, Jay. Get that uh, bag together. Yeah, Jay, come on, Jay. Uh, uh, you know. Jay some brother? of that trout. Mm -hmm. Jay, Jay, you know what I'm saying? But we we gonna uh, we gonna close it up, man. Okay. Yeah. Red Cup, man. Great Appreciate show, you, man. man. Ducky Vaughn, you know. Show some knowledge, man. So, I mean, I, I know a lot of people looking at the show saying, man, they can switch the show over this and talking about that, but that's shit that people need to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I'm saying? I think that we we blessed to have, you know, man, you, you got your Michael Graham, Stacey Robb, Ducky Vaughn, Delonte Taylor, Lonnie Baxter, Lonnie Rail. Yeah. Man. Just to name a few, man. There's many more to come on the show, man. Just tell, you know what I'm saying? You know, switch some knowledge to y'all, man. So, Appreciate y'all viewers, man. My, my homie Mike Gill, I need some more gear, man. Yeah, man. I need some more hoop gear, gear, man. Man, I need a t-shirt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, real talk, man. So, we're going to close it out, man. So, we're going to see y'all next week, man. Peace. Yeah. Ducky Vaughn. Hey, man, you got a... Uh,